old black, blue, dirty, dry represent. Hey, one thing for sure and two things for certain. I go by the simple name of Skinny. 100 a bit and you know. Yeah, that way on the hoe and some more shit. It's your boy Lil Nuke, man. Yo, you, know, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy Goody Bronson. Goody, Goody, Goody. But Ray Baker. And you listening to the Match One Podcast. And I'm tuned in to the Match One Podcast. Yeah, man, kicking in with this boy, Match One, man, fam, C-Time shit, man. Checking in with the big homie, man, Match One Podcast. If you ain't matching one, nigga, you dapping one, man, you deal with it. I was training, man, this neighborhood waffle, man, get in there, uh, get in there, uh, man, for the troubles and the rappers there, well, man, Match One Podcast, man, you know what's going on. Hey, man, roll one, smoke one, it's the Match One Podcast, yeah, and you should not tuning in with 365SK. <laughs> Shoot that bitch up, man. Swing me back through one more time, man. Mr. E. Columbia Chump. Matt One Podcast. Nigga, me go bam. Welcome to the Match One Podcast. This the barbershop talk for niggas that don't go to the barbershop. Because we got locks. And you're now tuned in with Match One. Let's get it. Hey, I ain't gonna let y'all fuck with me today. Hey, we like, we on. Look like that shit's going. Looks great. Looks oh. Pendis. Who's in there, bro? But yeah, that was my cousin, though, bro. Yo, man. Recipe Lee Tossing Young. Yeah, T.Y. Fly high. Oh, yeah. It's another week, and we back. Hey. Smoking it's crack. It's another week, and we back. Smoking hey. crack. Hey. Okay, okay. Let's nah, not do smoking crack, man. But I mean, that's it. Y'all yeah. already know who it is. It's your boy, Zeus. A.K.A. Thunder, A.K.A. Let's Go, A.K.A. The Hood, Motherfucking Geek, A.K.A. I can't be in two places at one time, A.K.A. Oh, they little guy, sin callado. No heavy, no heavy. This is starting to go too far. It really is going too far, bro. I think we're going to start that again, bro. We're going to leave k and shit. This became the day where that shit was no longer safe. But you know who it is, man. It's your boy, Black Jesus. I may not come when you call, but I'll be there right on time. And I'm T. Diddy. Take that. Welcome to the Match One Podcast. Yeah. Now. What's up? I think it's thought we need an uh, intervention. We do? Because, uh... The AKA is going too far. It's yeah, sick, man. man. It's really sick. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's becoming a problem. Us as friends, Zeus, we can't sit here and let you go on and go without... I feel like we're uh, we're we're an accessory. We're helping you. We're helping the habit. It's becoming a problem, bro. Listen. You know listen. Listen. I hear y'all, man. And what I would do is I would cut my AKA now. But, you know, that's just my thing. I'm sorry. I, mean, it's I apologize. The, it's, Look, I it's apologize. The nature. That's limited to one. It's the week. nature. That's limited to one. Because unless, you I know, mean, you, I try to, I try to keep circuit. it. I mean, I, I, I get it. Sometimes you get a little carried away. Yeah, yeah. I try and to keep it different. I try to keep it spicy. Listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to limit it to Hot one. Hot sauce AKA, is for spice. And the AKA can be no longer than three seconds. I, I'm not listening to that. But I will cut it down. Okay. So he got there for me first. I'll cut it down, man. I apologize. What it do, man? Shout What's out up, y'all? to everybody who's listening. Where your mama is. Before we get into father, y'all know we got to shout out our peoples. Yeah. Shout out to Fank here. Shout out to Fank here. Shout out to you. Shout out to K9 Studio. K9. K-9. Goody, goody, goody. What's up, K9? Shout out to Underground. Underground, Ray, my Ray, boy Ray, Ray. Addict to Sounds, Addict to Sounds. Back on the Underground, shout out to Marquis Wineglass. He said that album about to drop soon. Shout, shout out, out. Marquis. Shout gotta out get him on the show. Definitely getting him on the show. Pull up. Uh, we did say Addict to Sounds. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Curbs. Ray, what you pull up like? Um, shout out to the Fry Guys, Impress Me Custom. Um, shout out, shout stuff. out, shout out. Let me uh, get some Fry, Rico. Yeah. Write me some Fry, get, get Rico. Uh, shout out to Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to we in Brooklyn. Ooh, hey yo, hey yo, bro. Shout out to Brooklyn. I just had to say that. You know, hey, I can't hey, wait to say quick that. Quick question. I don't want y'all to look at me stupid. Brooklyn is Bronx or Bed? I think all three of them did. Yeah, I, I don't know. Don't no, make the Bronx and the BX one is Brooklyn. One is uh. The Bronx seems to be it though. Oh, I don't I don't know. Know. I'm positive. BX on Somebody tell me. 
Bronx. Somebody hit us and tell us, Matt. The Bronx seems to be it, bro. I'm telling you. I don't sure. know. I think all three of them. What else do, what else do it make sense, dude? How does Brooklyn fit with BX and Bronx down? Think about it, y'all. The BX. But I'm saying, I think all three of them is different. No, a Bronx is the BX, kid. Like, yo, this is my thing. <laughs> I have to do my fake New York shit. PS 118, son. You, just you know wrong. what I'm saying? You just wrong. But, but New York niggas think I have it right. I can fool a New York motherfucker sometimes. What kid, what, what kid is it? I don't know. That's who we need to add, goddamn. But I think the BX is the Bronx, right? I don't know. Somebody let her know. Who that shit? The BX is is the Bronx. I might I'm from be wrong. Harlem, I think anyway. I'm right. Let's see. I really think I'm right though. I'm from Harlem, son. You shout from Harlem, to, son? Shout out to Harlem, son. All right, so I got my. I see you, Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Makes my uncle. Okay. Real man, uh, Black Lives Matter man. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Brooklyn. Y'all kind of cut us off. I was trying to still, still doing the shout outs. Damn, bro, we were doing the shout outs. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Shout out to all the people that been listening. Shout out to everybody that been subscribed, like. Thank you for everybody that done downloaded and did everything with our uh, from from this week to last week. Shout yeah. out to Grange. We tripping. They gonna kill us if they hear us, bro. What they say, what? bro? Bronx is is is, is the BX. Brooklyn is B, is is a uh, BK, ain't it? That's what I said. I said the Bronx was the BX. Yeah, it ain't three. It's the BK and the BX. I said the BX though. Yeah, the Bronx, I said the Bronx. No, so we was, I was talking about the different Bs, and it's the BK and the BX. But they weren't gonna kill me because I was right. I don't know. I was saying I was from the Bronx, kid. The BX, son. PS one eighteen, kid. Grew up with Arnold. I ain't never been to uh, Harlem. I mean New York. I never been nowhere. In Period. Memphis. Shit, I used to run over. But there. I know Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, bro. Now I'm trying to get too much, too carrots. Just a whole other yeah, podcast. <laughs> Black lives matter. But have y'all seen the young nigga with bro that was on TV? He was like, "Well, white lives don't matter." And then the, 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 the reporter, <laughs> he said, "White lives don't matter." He was live. He was like, "White lives don't matter." And the reporter was like, "No, bro, you lied on me. We live on air. They hear what I just said. You just lied. Dog. Why you lying? White lives don't matter." And he, 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 he like fucking with a bag. Shit, crazy man. What's going on in the world is crazy. Man, the world. I, I am being disappointed, in Cam Newton. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. Damn. Cam Newton is a fuck nigga. You poor sad point, nigga man. trying to keep your little chick. I understand you keeping your chick, bro, but God damn, bro. Them folks ain't gonna goddamn drop you for saying what you feel. It's crazy how they love you and hate it because if y'all was listening a couple weeks ago, they were just on Cam's side when I was disappointed with Cam. And they just switched all the way around because now they done brought me over to the Cam Atlanta. Atlanta. He folks more got money or something. I think Mary Evan. But that's the same. I don't know. But yeah, he uh, I was disappointed in that. Yeah, you're right. The first time I defended him because I understood. Like I told y'all before we got recording, I felt like he shouldn't even say nothing about it again. Like if you, he, he, like he said in the speech, it's a lose lose situation for him. But this shit happened in his place where he playing in Charlotte. The nigga got killed in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? Like where he plays it. He should better say something, brother. It ain't nothing. This is why I feel like he did it. This ain't got shit to do with black on black right now. The situation at hand was. A black man unarmed killed for no reason. I hate when people start throwing up that black on black shit in the midst of something else. It's police being able to gun down people and not suffer any consequences. That's the problem. Ain't got nothing to do with race. It ain't black on black, man. I seen that shit on Facebook. That nigga was going live. Nigga, it was black, white, all kind of Latino, Mexican folk, all them folks out there. It's American. Let me just speak about the situation at hand. So how are we feeling about the situation? Fuck the police. That's how we feel about the situation. We know that. We know that with the, with the uh, Charlotte, the gun sound. with the Charlotte one, that was a black officer. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, right? Was a black Man, officer. they say they say it's on video of that black. I watched it. The black officer dropping a gun, trying to plant a gun. I seen that on that's video. That's a whole nother shooting, that's, though. Yeah. That's nothing. I thought that's the Charlotte shooting right there. That's a whole different shooting, bro. That's the one Charlotte one right there. No, that's yes, a different yeah, one. Bro, no, it ain't been like two, three on me, Charlotte. But that's brother. the Charlotte one everybody talking about right there. Though. Nah, that's another one. You talking about the Tulsa, Oklahoma one? No, I'm talking about Charlotte. Yeah, that's the one Charlotte everybody talking about. It was in Charlotte, but that ain't the one where they shot Buddy in the car. With the one that's you on know. video. That ain't on video. You're talking about the other buddy, bro. you talking about which one? Who you talking about? The one is a Charlotte. dude got shot in the Charlotte. car. They said Charlotte. he had a gun, yeah, yeah. but he had a he boot. Was disabled. They were saying he was a disabled man. That's why all the shit jumped off in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Another nigga got killed. Like, the one, like during the protest type shit. 
Like around the day was like the next and day. You don't got disabled in no video. Nah, that shit ain't no video. Okay. You know what they pissed off about shooting the disabled man? Yeah, that's where it started. The man, they said the man sit out there every day and wait on his uh, kids to get out of school bus. He's sitting in his car reading the book. The police pull up, they saying that they got a warrant for somebody. The police say that witnesses say that the man got out of the car with a gun, got back in the car, got out of the car, but got back in the car, you know what I'm saying? But she, the witnesses was out there saying they ain't even talk to us. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Zeus, you know? I don't know. I do know the Tulsa, Oklahoma when the woman, she got manslaughter. He, uh, she got charged with, they charged with manslaughter? Manslaughter. Okay, well, she got trouble. That don't mean nothing. Like I say, it don't mean nothing. Hey, do y'all know that the nigga in the helicopter, her husband? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. The helicopter. The one that said... In Tulsa. In Tulsa, they said he's a big one, a bad one. He looks like a bad one, some shit. The nigga that be saying that shit in the helicopter, her husband. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Black lives don't matter, man. Not to them. Not in America. Right. Black lives don't matter. We're animals. They hunt us, man. They get away with it. Damn. That's a fucked up. Ain't no good police. Yeah. Cause good I'm not good police that, should step out and be ashamed of that I shit and I speak can't, against can't, that I, shit. I, 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 Ain't no good police. I believe they got in something. Ain't no I good cops. And, I do believe. I believe. And you know what? Ain't no shout good out. Cops. Shout, shout out. A good cop would be the outcast right now and stand out like, man, this shit wrong, man. These folks, this motherfucker should be got now, should go to jail for murder. But you don't think some cop was standing out? It was a nope. chief of police saying something, and I forgot one of these little towns came out and said he tired of that shit, bro. Like, it's some cops standing up to this shit. I, like, I mean, all cops aren't bad. I'm not going to be able to say all cops aren't bad. All cops bro. aren't bad. I've had some run-ins with cops. I've had some dirty things, and they haven't, and that's been recently. So shout out. Shout out to the state troopers, too, bro. Cause they, they, they real niggas. I mean, they. They solid, Fuck man. The police. They know your side. What I'm saying is, I respect every police officer that's out here to protect and serve. If you if you do your job, protect. I can't never knock nobody's job. So if you an officer that wake up every day, you put your your pants, your your shirt, your gun, your badge on, and your mindset is to let me save a life, let me protect, let me help in some type of way. Big shout out to you. If you put that on and you feel like they give you the big boy pants and some sense of power and everybody should listen to everything you say and do everything you do because you the boss now, fuck you. That's how I feel about it. Fuck them police officers. The problem is they need to get these scared police the fuck out the hood, the fuck out of black areas because how the fuck are you going to police something that you're scared of? Oh, it ain't about... It ain't about... I would say I agree with uh, my boy uh, Blue. Shout out to Blue. SOA. Uh, Shout out to Blue. They need to start implementing some type of mental, you know what I'm saying, mental testing yeah. to these people. Put them in certain situations and spend training to see where their mental capability is at, especially when it comes to African Americans. But, so, but at the same time, these motherfuckers ain't scared. That shit ain't gonna man. work, man. They that need to make these niggas get out here and actually know these folks. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's walk what, down the street, that's, that's, get out the car. That's, that's, they need to park the goddamn car and walk down the street like the goddamn mailman. That's a bullshit story. They, they scared you. That's just to try to get them off. And feel like it's a pressure, pressure situation. There's no way in that situation she could have been scared. It was under control. They exactly. outnumbered him, and the nigga just tased the fuck out of him. It was no reason in that for you to be scared any type of way because y'all had it locked down. What it was was an opportunity to catch your body. Nigga, and anybody, regardless of who you are, human nature, bro, is killing. That's why hunting is a sport, nigga. You love it. You can't help but do it. Regardless of what you into, if you hate animals, if you love animals, regardless, hunting in some type of way is what you love because that's human nature. If you get the chance to catch a free body, you gonna catch that shit. It's that simple. I don't care nothing but bugs and pussy. Uh oh. Did you just set me up for my assist? <laughs> Did you set me up for the, the, the triple nah, D? No, nah, no, not that. Oh. Not that, not that, not that. Okay. When you set me up for it, let me know. So, yeah, man, fuck uh, the police. 
You know what I'm saying? Because they don't give a fuck about her. Michael Jackson told her that shit. Oh, my God. I ain't already care, man. Nigga ain't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, man, that shit just fucked up all the way around the board. Okay. Fuck, ain't no, they don't need no training, man. They need to get out here and actually know people. They need to get out here in the community. Nigga, the police need to be a part of the community. You cannot police motherfuckers who you scared of. That shit is impossible. You can't do that. You always gonna be scared. You gonna police a whole goddamn different way. You're not gonna... It's gonna cloud your whole way of thinking because you're scared of this motherfucker off the muscle. For no reason. That's true. So fuck the police. I don't still feel like fuck the police. Fuck some, fuck some of the bad. Being scared is the only way, I'm, the only, really, one of the only ways to get out of myself to think. Oh, fuck, I was scared. Listen. I was scared for my life. Regardless of saying, by ethics law in each job, regardless of what it is. You, you talk about human nature and all that type of shit like that, nigga, all that shit, to, to kill and all that shit. Nigga, yeah, when you're scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not when you're scared. But I'm saying scared. that's nature when you're scared also. I understand that killing is a sport. Hunting is a sport. But when you're scared, you know why, crazy, you know you're scared you with know a why, gun you know in your hand, man. Not, What's the only, that's you know the why only why reaction you're going to have. Because you got to go back to where it was all pure, where it was pure reaction. Think about regardless if you want to admit it or not. When you was a kid, you approached, let's say, a spider in a different way you might approach a slug. You see a spider, nigga, it's a big ass spider, you might jump or move out the way. You see a slug, you're frustrated, you're like, bro, let me fuck with it real quick. Let me go get some salt or you might not have been a kid to do that, but you know the type of bugs that but you But listen fuck to what with. I'm saying though. You got away with it. was it, you know Them bugs. Regardless, what I'm talking about is situation. you being scared with a gun in your hand. The only reaction that you're gonna have is to shoot. You're not going to think of nothing else because you're scared and you have a gun in your hand. I'm lying, bro, because I, cause, cause I can guarantee that when you're scared with a gun in your hand, that could be a reaction. But I know a lot of reactions that will also be to freeze and do nothing with that gun in their hand because they're scared and they can't do shit. The most deadliest motherfucker on the world, in the world is a scared motherfucker. True. True. <laughs> True. That's the most deadliest motherfucker in the world. True. A scared motherfucker. All agree. All agree. You scared with that gun in your hand. Nine times out of ten, a motherfucker gonna pull that trigger. But you know what that whole thing is? They say the deadliest thing in the world is a scared motherfucker because they also say you back the cat into a corner. What do you expect to do? But the whole purpose of that situation is that police officer wasn't back into a corner. That wasn't a scary nigga that had nothing else to do but to go for it. That wasn't it. It was a motherfucker that came heavily got them uh, 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 advanced. They, they, was, they, they came the wrong they way went, anyway. Man. They came the wrong way anyway. This man car. broke down on the a, side they, of the road. Well, the call was for a abandoned car. The first thing you I want to say they said he called call the police. I think his car broke down. Yeah, I want to say he called the police. He was sitting on the side of the road when they pulled up. They let you know right there how it go. Yo, man, fuck the police, though. That's all the boy down to. If you the police, fuck you. AK, hey, by the way, I was going to say AK, but completely off the subject. I just made sure we say this earlier. We forgot to say this in the shout out. Match One Podcast is officially on the PlayStation Network. Just had to make sure we plug that in. PlayStation Network, so if you want to get your ad beat. Listen, y'all ain't fucking with me on Madden. So if anybody wants to see the boy Black Jesus on Madden, Y'all come this way. So we got it. It's gonna be under the match one tag. You really ain't that good, y'all. Man, <laughs> listen. Hey, listen. Uh, wait, 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 wait. It's only one person at this table that can see me here. Who is that? Did you just say it for the people? Huh? Who did you say it for the people? Zeus. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure. But all right. Uh, but anyway, uh, before we get into the with that thing. A3C, we are in the building October 8th. A3C, ah, Any hell? artists that want to get with us, link up with the Match One podcast. Hit up. At Because DWIC on Twitter uh-huh. or at the Match One Podcast. We are live in the fit. We got like four or five 
slots like yeah. gone already. So hit us. We there all come on hit us with the whole weekend. If you don't website. have come a Twitter, on. you can hit us on the match one seven oh six at Gmail also. We open. Any way you can get, get to us, get to us. Match one seven oh six at Gmail. So Send us whatever, man. Y'all better get with us, link with us. We're doing interviews. We're doing interviews. interviews. Nah, we put you on, man. If you got your hot song, your hit you got out there, we'll drop it on there, man. We fucking with the streets. So if, you, if you're if doing A3C, and I feel like if you are not an artist, if you are an artist and you're not doing A3C, I don't think you're taking this shit serious. So you better be an A goddamn 3C. If you look for it, you're there. Beat up. So yeah, that's, that's a y'all big y'all come. Sure y'all go and find that boy Euro, man. Whatever the Euro stuff for A and that AC3. Y'all go and holler at him, bro. Yeah. So y'all keep that coming up. Yeah, it better beat up. A3C Festival What it is It's October 5th Through the 9th Yeah we gonna be there On the 8th We gonna be there On the 8th, we're gonna be there on the 8th. Right, So Match yeah, 1 Podcast be there, Will be in the building Man, man uh, We got a lot of people Shout out to Connecticut Shout out to Doobie That's one of the Shout ma- out Doobie man Cannon gang Cannon gang Cannon gang Oh Shout out to What my What are you gonna do You wanna say The perk Perk gang We Can we No Nah, we gotta make it official first. We can't don't say no name till we make that thing official. So only person we gonna make fish right now, dude. We ain't gonna need keep people interested in that. Nah, man, stay tuned. Stay we try some hot stuff on y'all. Y'all just know that. Got y'all stay, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I know T did like to be secretive. Yeah, he being it. real secretive, man. Yeah, this shit like a week and a half yeah. away, yeah. man. Yeah, God like damn, bro. Service, yeah, like, yeah, I don't want to no information. Yeah, he don't want to hit him with nothing. I want it to be confirmed. I don't want to got down, put my foot in my mouth. I feel you, I feel you, I follow you there, I follow you there. Um, but yeah, so we there, we A3C. Um, shout out to Spreaker, YouTube, iTunes, shout out to all our everything, man. Yeah, I hate to get cut off into that, but you know, I had to make sure we finish the shout out. Shout out. Man. But yo, man. Oh, wait, wait. Let me make sure I say this on air, man. I'm still a fucking Georgia fan, even though we took that ass whooping today, bro. Ass that was an whooping. ass fucking whooping. Yeah, I wasn't yeah, expecting man. that ass whooping, but ass it's still a bulldog over here for life, man. We, we, we got a freshman. He going to get straight. He going to get straight. Go ahead, T.D. I ain't going to get y'all. Man. I wasn't even finna say now. I'm still, what's up? Mm. Damn. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We can see it. kind of week y'all boy had, man? What been going on? Bro, really just, I just, I'm really disappointed in my team getting their ass beat today, you know? Um, so, you know, uh, that's um, that's real disappointing. I mean, I'm okay with a loss, but an ass with So, shout out to all the motherfuckers sending these uh, memes and shit to my phone. Fuck y'all, okay? <laughs> Fuck y'all right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. Shout out to all the niggas that owe me money and still do on this game. I told y'all it was coming. Shout out to all the niggas that gonna book on that nigga. <laughs> Shout out to all the niggas that know it's impossible to fuck on me. Fuck on that nigga with that shit. Shout out to the Match One Podcast. Y'all seen our new logo? Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Just show y'all a little something, man. Shout out to the boy Walt Chamberlain, man, for the artwork, man. Walt Chamberlain. Walt Chamberlain, man. I fuck with the whole honey game, man. He came the whip. With the stilts. Nah. Okay. I guess not. Nah, nah, nah. I guess not. He too young. I just said Wilt the Stiller. I yeah, yeah. I was talking about. I was just. He went. Try, he tried to go old school. Nah, so he swear he was at the barbershop time. Come on, man. Listen to this goddamn. I was doing this rhyme. Y'all think I see? Y'all ain't fucking me. Lean go crazy. I don't know nothing about Wilt neither though. For real. Huh? I don't know nothing about Wilt neither, but we were old the fuck. Damn, bro. Okay. Um. I know about Wilt. Don't put me in the Anyways, uh, what else, y'all, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? We really hit on, on the real serious subject, though. Um, black lives but, do matter. That number Black Lives Matter, cuz. That do matter right now, so. Yeah. Turn right on hey, the yo, What do y'all think about Bill Belichick and what he's been doing without time for why are y'all motherfuckers shocked by that shit? I'm saying it's like, it's like it's like Greg Popovich with <coughs> some backups. Do you say, oh, they're not gonna make the playoffs? You say who said again? Greg Popovich. Do you look at if Greg Popovich lost a lot of his starters right now? Do you say, man, his birds ain't making the playoffs? 
I'm just saying. They got this. It's the, it's the system, bro. Bill Belichick got a system. They defense playing stupid. A quarterback ain't got to do nothing but game manage. He ain't got to go out there and put up 400 yards like Tom Brady. He ain't got to do nothing but manage the game. The defense doing their thing. Bill Belichick is smart. And I hate the fucking Patriots. They some cheaters. But I get credit with credit is due. With the whole cheating shit. I ain't giving credit, ain't give credit in cheating. Cause shit, the cheating that he did was smart as fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't like bluntly cheat. He did a little stupid cheating shit. So. You better check a cheat now, nigga. They probably cheat now. That's how they win it. Damn, bro. We, I ain't just, say we just don't know what they doing. I, I don't put past it. Yeah, we won't know about it for about five years, and then it be some other shit come up. Like, oh. Yeah. How you feel about it? Black Tom kid. Brady dressed not in the nigga uniform. It was a black dude. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Look, now, honestly, on the situation, cut, I feel like they whole system, the whole New England Patriots as a whole, with that's the scouting, the, the, the drafting, the, the free agency, everything that they do, it's a real old machine. And, you know, I don't know if you give most of that to Bill Belichick or if you give it to Robert Kraft, but what I'm going to say is New England Patriots as a whole, they, they stupid. They, boy, you can't, you can't say nothing bad about them because if one go down, one come up. One go down, one come up. <laughs> there I go. And now you got a game where y'all 3-0 and going into this last game before Tom Brady come back. And that's arguably the best quarterback ever. Then when Tom Brady come back, they're going to start losing. I can see that too. But now you don't even got to worry about it being Tom Brady who came back. Then he going to get hurt. I spoke that Tom Brady was going to get hurt, but my thing already Y'all are some was, motherfucking speed, get some injuries well, on. Garoppolo he, already got hurt, so now if Tom Brady was to get hurt and the black dude was to take over, it would be amazing. Like, that would be crazy, bro. That would be mean, insane. any kind of crazy, like Alabama got a black quarterback right now, and Patriots got their black quarterback. I mean, I'm just saying. Black Lives Matter, man. Black Lives Matter. Black Shout out to Steve yeah. Kerr for speaking up about some shit, though. Look, I just want to say that Cam Newton didn't speak up about it. Let's stick on this NFL quarterback and all that. Because I've been here. Oh, a white nigga can talk. And I want to speak on it. <laughs> a white nigga can speak up, but a nigga nigga can't say nothing. Look, bro. Shout out to Russell Westbrook. We'll he want to talk about we'll black talk on about black. We'll talk about that in a minute. But like I was saying, <laughs> are we feeling any way with the last two years and it will be possibly three years? What's been going on his injuries with Andrew Luck and was that decision to trade Peyton a terrible one now looking at because all the light that he was supposed to have and what he was supposed to become no and now the numbers and how no. I say this for one reason why we was known Peyton Manning was where they had a defense regardless if he stayed in the coast the coast never got a defense so he was still just being the Peyton Manning I mean right. that was great for Peyton but I'm talking about for the coast I feel like that's the best thing, though. I think it won't work out. Like, they had to go into another direction, bro. I get it now. Like, they had to. How long can you really. What What if you don't get that same. Peyton had some targets in, bro. It been different, too. Yeah. But that next year when he came back, he was going to fight on Who? Peyton, when he first came back. But I'm saying, but look who he was throwing it to. Oh, yeah, he yeah, Eric Decker, Demarius Thomas, Julius Thomas. Uh, you know, just. He had targets. Yeah. T.Y. Hilton. That's all he had in you see, Andrew Luck really yeah, be making something saying, out of yeah, nothing. Reggie Wayne. Now, Andrew Luck be making something out of nothing in places, bro. Reggie Wayne got kind of old, bro. So, That's all so I'm saying. Are we saying. Reggie Wayne old as fuck. How do we feel about Andrew Luck? Is he I the think way he's the everybody future, thought bro. he was going to go? So he still got. I, still, I mean, it's, it's, he been hurt a lot. So I ain't been able to get him his due dealing, you know, his due dealing, you see. But it's times he played hurt, and he was still out there doing his thing, but he was playing hurt. We just didn't know how hurt he was. So I don't know. I want to see a healthy, a healthy Andrew Luck before I be like, nah, he a bum. I don't so, think he's so bum this year. Does he have? Cause I this year is going downhill. It's looking like it might be a bad year. We yeah. don't know because it's still early. It's early. It's, it's early. still early. It's early. But what they three? They zero and three right now, and they so. But I don't. Keep, but see, when it comes to see, I be, I be kind of defending the quarterbacks because you can't blame everything on him. It's not always his mistakes. Offensive line. And that's play. what I'm saying. I'm saying. So how long does he have to get it right? Like, and, and t- how long until we? I give him one more year. Right? I'm giving him one more year. But what, what do the Colts do? Do they get a, a line? Like, we forget Peyton Manning had Jeff Saturday and shit. Like, he had a line. So are we always going to give him that pass? That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to know. Because he was supposed to be this thing, the brilliant. He don't the, get no pass. 
if he's if he flop this year, if he still go out there and do his thing, and if we can blame it on the offensive line, yes. If he go out there and fuck it up, then we can't blame the offensive line. He's still a quarterback. He still can go make plays. So if he go out there and make plays, and we say, damn, he just ain't got this running back, or he ain't got no offensive line, then yeah, we give him a pass. You did like we give all quarterbacks get a pass for a minute, except nigga like RG three. Shit, he's done. He's dead, man. He's Tell that nigga, man. Body bad that guy. So, yeah, but I get you. I give him one more year. What about AP? How y'all feel about AP? Do he have a chance to come back, or is it just too many, too late? Too many injuries, too late in his career. I think he took to get that pot up. Hey, Peter hit that running back fade. That running back. That wall. Yeah, it's over. Running back don't have got down no no quarterback type career. Everybody can't be in it. But shit, for real, for real quarterbacks ain't getting them type of careers no more. You got to think. I don't know. Now it depends on who you talking about. But what I'm saying, is that, think about what I'm saying. Right now, you can still think about quarterbacks that's been the same quarterback for the same team for years. But the other quarterbacks have been coming and going everywhere else, bro. But it's always going to go this way. It's, like, it's always going to be quarterbacks coming and going to play. Now, um, around the league. Okay. Yeah, it's always going to be, God dang, Philip Rivers in San Diego. But then at the same time. And that's what that's what I'm like saying. The 49ers. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. It's always but been like quarterbacks. That. Really, except when you're talking about quarterbacks, you know, might be in the Hall of Fame potentially, or the only ones that be longevity. Because yeah. most quarterbacks you don't hear about after two, three seasons. Well, people decide what what is the NFL? What does they say stand for? Not for long. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So if you ain't putting up, if you ain't that quarterback, they need something else, and they quickly blame it on the quarterback, just like they quickly put, give them a pass. A, a, a league or a, a organization, a franchise, their offense will be quick to blame for shit on the quarterback and get him up out of there, even if it ain't his fault. Well, well, let's just get a new start, and make everything fresh, have everybody fresh vibes going in a new direction. That's how it goes in the NFL. It's a business. You gotta be quick on it if it ain't looking right. You can't guess on it like we got time. Unless you somebody like New England and shit that got niggas that can sit back and wait and watch or fucking you had luckily you had Iron Man Brett Favre and you can have a nigga behind him just sit back and grow. Might not learn nothing from Brett, but you can sit and grow. But that's dime a dozen when you think about it. It's a dime a dozen that a, a team has a backup quarterback for their legend. See, you got Aaron Rodgers with Brett Favre, but it's a dime a dozen when you Tom think Brady. about it. Who? Drew Bresso wasn't no fucking Hall of Famer? Oh, no. Well, you said, I thought you said just a backup for a legend, like a backup for Kenny. Yeah, Lewis. but I'm saying. I'm saying like I'm a saying two Hall of Famers. Like, oh, oh, like of Famers. Yeah. Brett Favre is a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is going to be a Hall of Famer. He came up under Brett Favre. First ballot Hall of Famer, can't say Are you saying that? What are we saying? Yeah. Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. yeah he's probably going to get him. He's going to get him the first ballot. Oh, uh, but. How many other teams can you save? What's the name? What's the Ooh. two? Uh, Montana and Young. But that's you talking back then. I'm talking about like, think about Brett Favre from the 90s. Think about the era I'm talking about. Brett Favre came in in the 90s, and then now you still had Aaron Rodgers going through the 2000s. <laughs> I that's some funny shit. See? You see what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, you can't, you can say, you can't really say Tony Romo, because it was a lot of motherfuckers got there before he was there. He was Drew Bledsoe and... Low key, Drew Bledsoe been a, a stepping stone for a lot of motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Tom Brady, Tony Romo. Thank you, man. That's what I'm saying. It ain't too many teams that just had quarterback. I'm trying to think who was the quarterback of the Steelers before Neil O'Donnell. You know what I'm saying? Before being Rothenberg out there. I think it was maybe Neil O'Donnell. Who's the quarterback for the Giants before you talk about that? Fucking no, Kurt Warner. There you go. But Kurt Warner got traded and he wasn't there. He came from the Rams and shit. This was old Kurt Warner. Still Hall of Fame. That don't count though. I'm talking about somebody yeah, that was bred. He didn't make, he didn't fame, make his yeah. Hall of Fame there at the Giants. He was a Hall of Famer before. And he had a better Hall of Fame career after because he went to the Cardinals. So, you see what I'm saying? He went to the Cardinals after that. It's not none. You get your break. Well, it's a dime a dozen. It's a dime a dozen, bro. It's like an NBA franchise. That's what I laughed earlier. I was trying to say some funny shit to y'all. That's what I was thinking about. I was going to say that. You trying to be an asshole. That's what you're talking about. I I, I had this debate with niggas all outside yeah, of yeah. this podcast yeah, this week, bro. And everybody made great arguments. Somebody else came up with some other shit, too, bro. Minnesota and uh, Michael Vick, he did that shit in the playoffs. 
when he ran for 60 yards and he broke through two defenders and scored a touchdown. That's another highlight. TD. Got TD on the same. Man, no weekend. Green Bay. I told y'all, I told y'all, 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 y'all is a Hall of Famer. I don't care what y'all say. So but he not though. So his numbers, his numbers. He, he don't have the numbers. He didn't win no Super Bowl. And I love Michael Vick, bro. But somebody broke it down. He don't got the numbers. He didn't win no MVPs. He didn't win no Super Bowls. He's not in the top ten of nothing. He's not in the top twenty of nothing. He's not in the top twenty five of nothing. He's the first quarterback to run for a thousand yards and pass for a thousand yards in the NFL season. Cam Newton has done that, and he's probably gonna be an Hall of Fame for Michael Vick because he's got an MVP. And he went to the Super Bowl. Lost or not, but he made to the Super Bowl. Undefeated. And I'm a big fan, bro. I'm big on the Hall of Fame. Why? Right now, it's just opinions. But, but why? Said, if it's opinions, you got to go off the numbers he then. He changed the game. I'm telling you how that is. A whole, he changed football. He killed he himself. He killed himself with the dog fight. I mean, but he, He's never going to get in now. They ain't going to give him the credit for They need to T.O. credit. T.O. got the numbers, bro. T.O. ain't never did nothing bad outside of football to make them make him wait again. You see what I'm saying? He's number top three in receiving yards, touchdowns. But wait, just because he didn't talk to the media, wait, wait, sure. what you think they going to let Michael Vick in? He went to jail for killing dogs, and they still blame him for that shit but see, today. The thing about T.O., and it was some nigga, I'm a fucking man, he never, ever let them humble him. He never seemed humble. He never. He was always his cocky pride for himself. That was the whole thing, so it made him an asshole. Even if Michael Vick was going off, you know, once they did humble him, he came back on some whole other shit. But it don't showing matter, humility. bro. Bro, they and still, they still ban Vic shit right now because of that dog fight shit. That's right crazy. now. Do you think the Hall of Fame voters are going to be like, yeah, we're going to let him in? Bro, hell no. Hell no, bro. Hell no, good. And I'm a Vic lover, bro. He's not going to be in the Hall of Fame. He don't have the numbers. Yeah, we could say he changed the game, but then you had other people come along like Cam Newton that just changed the game. Like, Vic opened the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cam even a nigga like time. even nigga like Randall Cunningham, he had the numbers to go along with him changing the game. Warren Moon, he had the numbers to go along. Like, they top 20. Vic ain't got the numbers that you could even just say, well, we got to throw him. They ain't going to throw him in there just because he changed the game, bro. Like, even when I was like, what about, what about AI? AI had them numbers. Yeah. AI had them numbers. AI got scoring titles. So. Love. But, yeah, man. Love. All right. Man, it's crazy. So, so y'all, I know this is this is our new thing, ain't it? Yeah, man, match one. It's real rap raw, bro. I think it's just pull up and get to it. Man. We don't even sit for the interviews no more. Yes, sir. How be in, man? We how boy. You know what I'm saying? So we got a real, 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 real special guest coming in the field. Don't today. we always give y'all something exclusive? Knocking them over the head again. Bop! I gotta wait to do the introduction. Wait till he get in here. So, uh, but y'all know we, we really be having... Dunkle's kids pulling up on y'all, on, man. Y'all know how we do, man. Uh, but shout out to all our listeners Shout out to all our subscribers Shout out to the day ones Shout out to the newies and everybody else Shout out to everybody on that new list we got Man I gotta go back and read that list But we got Brooklyn on that list And I mean, no disrespect to nobody else But Brooklyn just felt good seeing that on our stats this week You did know what I'm saying LeBron Shout out to Poland mm-hmm. Poland stats went up this week <laughs> So shout out to Poland um, Brooklyn is the BK When you stand the yeah, I, I never said that. I know the Bronx is the BX. We're in the BK. We got the BK in the building, man. Big shout out. Man, y'all hit a lot. We're going cuckoo. Oh, yeah, man. Y'all know we got the monsters back here, man. Y'all know how we ride. They all over the backyard, in the back, man. We got prepared to kill. <laughs> That's the only way you got to do it. I'm saying, man. I got people that can't be saying me. You can't be saying that on the air like that. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm going to come ahead and get yeah, it. Yeah, we can be saying that on the air. Man, 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 man. man, 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 man. You got guests in the building. We done got double trouble in this bitch. I ain't even know my people come in like this, man. 
What I need to do. We're going to go get a show. Jesus. The lyrical goddamn. <laughs> the lyrical coming of the second coming. <laughs> <laughs> Man, like you said, bro, we always had to get this stop by. Today, it real special. Today is real special. It real special. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got this up. I think we got our first. It, Chit, Go ahead, tell me who you is, bro. Yeah, nigga, Amigo Band, nigga, E. Columba Chomp, man. Y'all know me from way back in the G, man. Way, you know way what I'm saying? Uh, I, was a, I was a bullet before I was anybody, nigga. <laughs> That's what's up, huh? Hey, hey, and who else we got in the building, man? Hold on, hold on. Oh, you got Wapa I, Moe. I seen, I seen, I seen my boy here. I seen my boy here. Little bro put me on, put him on his on his video ASAP. Yes, yeah, man. Wapa God. I, I said man. I called him at the lucky one day, and I told you probably crazy. I'm like, bro, I keep doing your shit, my yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Going so crazy. You know what I'm saying? Going crazy. <laughs> Who, who we got in the building, my man? Man, it's Wapo, man. Wapo Holly, man. Ah. Real walk. In the building, East Columbia, man. We yeah, know how we doing, doing it, man. The whole shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Most thankful for y'all niggas coming in the building and hitting that show. Most like definitely, man. most so definitely. We know how y'all niggas running in the hotness y'all boy got in the street, so we appreciate y'all taking our time to come forward with it, man. Hey man, that automatic, you ain't got You know what I'm saying? That understood. Yeah, know that. Know my that, my know guy that. hit me one time and said, Man, you know I'm coming to that though, man. You ain't got to ask me two, three times. There ain't even no pressure on that already, shit. I already know it. Know that, know hey, that. but shit, man, talk to the people, man. Let the people know something, man. Like where you got down, started from, man. Tell man, me everything. I started from, I started from a motherfucking pack of bear computer. You know what I'm saying? With the mic on the motherfucking stick, drop the music, drop the mix <laughs> tape. First mid tank back goddamn 2001, some shit like that, man. Got picked up with my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Reggie, he had just moved to the neighborhood or whatever. He was doing the music or whatever. We linked up, and that shit was legendary way back then, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It just had to see this shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. And I remember that shit, my nigga. I, I swear to God, to this day, and you know, that was a minute ago. I probably was a young nigga, just in sixth grade, even lower. But nigga, in the land of bits and dance, or Willie Bland and G for show, that shit yeah, still sticking my head to this day, nigga. That shit, one of my goddamn hits. Nigga, I had to be about 14 or 15, nigga, put a mid tape out. In the street, all independent. I remember all that shit, yeah. bro. I remember we got down, used to come drop shit with them, with the all in there. Man, we down there had a label, then. We had a motherfucking label. Yeah, nigga, we worked out. Ben had to get our uh, original house. Red that house. shit, yeah. been a label yeah. deal, man. On goddamn. Play a field, whatever, whatever. Oh, Emperor Court over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Migo Band. What's happening? You got to speak to some of these, like, Columbus artists and let them know, bro, about about that. Because you, you really want some successful, on a successful path, I appreciate like, that, bro. For real, for real. A lot of people bled. in the city, if they ain't noticed you, I don't know what to tell them because you really. You got the, 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 the mixtape big. You done been on the, you done seen the road. You know what I mean? Speak on that, man. Tell some of these Columbia artists what they got to do. Man, with. first off, man, pray to God, man, because your ad belong to him. That's number one. All right. You're going to always have to put that out there first. Nick, man, get off your ad and get you something, man. You gonna, If you a rapper, you got to rap for this shit every motherfucking day. If you a trapper, you trap every day, man. If you a police, you the police every day. <laughs> that shit don't change. You don't take no breaks on that shit. And yeah, just no. like anything, you won't be successful, man. You can't let up, man. Don't take no for an answer. Don't about to let nobody tell you that shit ain't possible. I think I think niggas just don't got the grind, man. These niggas be just. I think niggas still so old school minded where they think they can just drop some shit in their home but closet. Goddamn. Even if you do that, man, just remember, man. That you gotta let more than your homeboy hear that shit after you come out the closet. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about where you record, it about what you do with that but shit. But see, these days, that shit's so accessible, man. You can got them getting you a little yo, get you a little quality time. You know what I'm saying? Drop you some shit, make your shit sound professional. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that hustle, you can't come to these folk. 
You can't come to these folk with that bullshit these days. Man, they ain't right. trying to hear that, bro. Put invest in your craft, man. Exactly. Nowadays, though, you know what I'm saying? The good thing about it is, motherfucker ain't even got to have no million dollar studio. You can go to everything music and spend you a thousand, man, and get that same quality. And you ain't got to pay nobody to sit around for $50, $100 an hour, my nigga. And you can just take some time with your crowd. That's what I advise everybody to say. Boycott these studio, nigga. Buy your own shit. Hey, Learn that shit to motherfucking self, man. Yeah, sure can do it. So look, speak on, because we have a lot of people in here, man, and when they come in and they talk about the big topic in the city. They say the city really don't, it's love, but it ain't the love that it's supposed to be. And you, you know the city fuck with you, but you you got a lot of spark up in the A. That's where you went and you jumped off the ball. Oh, yeah, man. So speak on how you feel about the city and the love, but how it had to go over the time. I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, because get what, get what I did for who I did it for, man. I never met the whole city, bro. I, I, I dedicate 95% of my life in between Buena Vista Road and Ford Road. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when it come down to me making music and, and me making songs and shit and what I talk about, the consistency of what I talk about is only what go on and what I see. I can't speak on the uptowns or the west sides or the south side because I don't see over the I be in Ford Pole and Ford Road. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all I can say about that. And if, if the city fuck me, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I'm a fair representation of the city, man. A lot better representation than a lot of these artists out here repping the city. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never finna go out bad. You ain't never hear about nobody push me, smack me, me, <laughs> took nothing from me. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going for that. And that's just my nature, man. That's how, my, that's how I was rocking before the music. And that's how I'm going to be rocking all the way to the top. And my motherfucking charges on the road uh, speak for that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I was going to hop on. I was going to say, say, we done got on that, the, the bullet bands. You feel what I'm saying? Speak on the situation, man. You was on the road. I done seen any man the jumping out of stage on YouTube. And what man. happened, man? What went down? <laughs> you ended up getting arrested. That's all we know. Man, I've been arrested situation. about three, four times, man. Just Look, going for what I know, man. Can, can and you just, speak on it? Can you talk about it? I can talk about okay. it. Because get what? If you a foreign road, nigga, you wouldn't have went for that shit either. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? If you from the park or you from where I'm from or you feel like I feel Feel like you can relate to my music, man. You wouldn't have went for now. Nah, one of them niggas trying you, and you went to jail every time I went to jail. So if you can understand yeah. it like that, you know what I'm saying? Then you can understand this shit. So was the niggas trying you or they trying the people? Shit. You and me, and somebody try you. Yeah, everybody. You tried me. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. What I'm saying? Yeah, the right. situation. You're doing something disrespectful right. to the situation. To everybody, man. Whether right. you did it to him, you did that shit to me. I don't know if you know that or not, but a nigga need to take that in consideration when you yeah, see right. me hanging out. When you see me hanging out from the little nigga to the nigga with all the chains on, you do something to him, you going to do something to me. That's right. All that, all that. So, so, me go bad, man. You done, what can you tell the people that, that local that's trying to get in the industry because I know you done seen some of the industry now. You know what I'm saying? Can you can you speak on that? I know you done seen the fake in the industry. You done seen the real in the industry. Oh, yeah, man. man. So, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even about being all super gangster no more. It really about just being yourself. You can make a dollar D, Dave. Exactly. These folks ain't even looking for nobody to be super hard, 10,000 charges, waiting on you to get out of chain gang and shit like they used to be when we were growing up. Niggas ain't looking for that no more. Niggas looking for whoever can market they sell to the bed, whoever can put that shit out there and find an audience, man. So, if you can if you can make some songs in your closet and get out there and print up them CDs and get that shit away, eventually you're gonna have a bug and somebody gonna call you. You gotta hustle, you gotta put that work in, get on that internet. Yeah, the internet man, you can, be, it is. You can be your own you can be your own CEO today. Yeah. Like all my niggas make their own money from around me, you know what I'm saying? I showed another way to make their own money with their route shit. They'll never have to even need a deal. You know what I'm saying? Just all about you create yeah, your buzz, you get your you get your fan base, you get right. your iTunes money, and you can stay out of these, these big industry where and get paid. Man, look at right. Chan the Rapper. He making more money than everybody. Yeah, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. 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 So, nigga, let's speak on what you got going on, for nigga. Mostly everybody already not heard that solid gold kitchen. Yeah, man, I'm putting, you, put, what you yeah, getting one tape of year, home. man, because this shit here classic, man. So, <laughs> so got there. Okay. I'm getting my soul on these tape, bro. I can't give you all of me. I already don't give you the recipe like Watt said. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to drop a little piece of me again. Blue Huncho coming real soon. That the next tape. Real Blue Huncho, man. And they're going to be available on live mid tape along with uh, Solid Gold Kitchen. Right now, you can load up your iTunes, Google Play, anything. You feel like you can play a song on I bet bands on that shit. You got to be on that. So speak on the process of the, uh, of the 
Man, for, man, for one thing, man, when you pop my tape in, just know I ain't getting nine dollar for a feature the net. Nobody, man, they fuck with me because of me and who I am, and I'm a real nigga. Ain't now feature bought on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with a lot of people on that shit. Uh, from from Juice Man on that bitch to uh, my boy Woot down for the free Woot two Woot gang ho fuck with them heavy heavy. Uh, Jose Guapo, Cord Amigos on that thing, man. It's a star-studded track list, and, I didn't, and, and it's all because of the face and what, city, what the city made me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't because right. of what, what I did to, to uh, Foo Gaze or Flim Flam or paid no money behind no back or give somebody a couple dollars or a nigga owe me a favor because my brother, none of that shit. I did that because of the how the city made me. And you can do the same thing if you just like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So when did you start, you know, knowing that they started recognizing Migos fans, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you got up there in that city, man, and they man. started knowing you. So I put out the Dilla track, right? Live mid tapes, or uh, you know what I'm saying? My mid tape, the Dilla track, my first single, and then I just went from walking around with uh, with these guys, you know what I'm saying, to folks taking pictures with them, to folks saying, "Oh shit, they go Migo bands," you understand? <laughs> and, and one day, one day hit. Once I, I I realized I liked that shit, I just kept it going, man. You know what I'm saying? That made that motivated me even harder. But it came out of nowhere, man. I mean, I was in Dallas, Texas, man, trying to get on the bus, man. Nigga ran me down, said, "Man, you Migo band." <laughs> And then I had to tell myself I'm motherfucking Migo yeah, band. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, I'm like, hey, yeah, who you in? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, nigga, who you in? He like, nah, the, the song. I'm like, oh, okay, the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah nigga, it's just complete come up. fucking with you. Yeah, hey, yeah. What really surprised me when I went overseas the first time, man? I never, I never knew I read that many people, man. Cause when I went overseas, you know, we got truck niggas and dope boys and all that shit. We call him, oh, he trapping or whatever. Yeah. Over there, they don't say that. They say that he a dealer. He dealing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yes, I'm a dealer with, like, an anthem for all the trappers in, in oh, France. So, I took yeah. down in France. Most for just a minute folk know me. They know it, these niggas. And I'm like, man, oh, this shit pound them on me. Oh, that was so. That was so. Niggas coming up to me showing me pictures of party. Them motherfuckers don't speak no English. They, they told me, yes, I'm a dealer. But they dealer, know the song, dealer. though. They right. They're high me over there. So, speak on that, man. Because I know if anybody that got the Instagram where they hit with you on the book, they see you traveling, man. You done been places. Talk, talk about the places you done been, man. Give a couple listeners. Man, I don't been everywhere from Abu Dhabi, Dubai, to the back road country, Mississippi. You had to goddamn drive through mud portal to get to the club. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't see a lot, man, from city to city to town to town. You know what I'm saying? They real nigga everywhere. But you know what I'm saying? More bad bitches in a certain places than it is in others. You know, shout out That's to your favorite man, <laughs> Texas. Take your time, man. Go to Texas, man. <laughs> what place? What place? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it all up. Back it all What we talking about? My favorite play for us. Texas. It's anything, man. What you just what about love. Miami? You have L.A. L.A. If you ain't got nothing else going on, man, go to L.A. and just disappear. Okay. That's it, man. Gag, good women. You know what I'm saying? New York for the food. If you want to eat good, fly your ass to New York, man. They got dishes from wherever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Texas for the for the bad bitches. Texas and, and Michigan. You wouldn't even think that was really. what? Michigan, Michigan, Tucky. They need a man. I heard them north, they don't got no back sides though. What the air look like up there? Man, up, I mean up north, man, you ain't even finna see too much of you right. That's, that is what it is. Until you get to like New York and places like that where you got these other cultures blending and meshing, you know what I'm saying? Create right. some shit now. Some shit'll pop out on y'all north now. Be be careful now, cause I never knew what Cape Verde was. Anybody know what Cape Verde is? Cape, I heard Cape that shit, Verde. but that's what that's what them people got their money in, ain't it? I don't that's know. That's the coast up on top, man. Africa. Africa. Oh, nah, man. <laughs> shit, bro. I'm tripping. That shit in Africa? You went there, bro? No, man, but them the baddest bitches in the world come oh, from Cape Verde, bro. Did you Cape, I'm on way out. Or did you just see an answer with man, you, how bro? how you know one didn't hop on me, man? That oh! Who didn't hop on me? Man, I'm coming through. Hey, 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 network We making y'all wait too We making y'all be patient Cause we know we gonna hit y'all up With all walk We gonna hit him But now we Oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 So 
Yeah, 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 we patient. We doubling y'all up now. We got it. Well, they ain't ready for what, man. Oh, man. Well, you know we got to see you out in the too, bro. Y'all did this podcast. They ain't even seen double up, man. They know how it is. What a hand tab, bro. Is it in the neighborhood? How they like running it, man? It's like neighborhood. Is it FMG? What we doing, man? Y'all yeah, let me know. What, what we, we want to do? We want to for the day. FMG, man. Yeah, they know what I'm saying. That mean a lot, man. That mean a lot, man. FMG, the hashtag tag for the day, man. Let me break that down to you, man. It can mean so much. But right now, we we uh, we, we basing it on faith gonna measure you great. You know what I'm saying? Because right. we believe in this shit, man. You know we that. believe in this shit. Yeah, FMG yeah. shit, yeah. nigga. You got to. Oh, well, you gonna make anything work? You gotta believe in that shit. Hell, man. Shout out to the nigga watching. Oh, man, we see (laughs) y'all. So, so, man, Migo Bad, man, you been on the road. Did that make you just, like, hungry for more? You said you blessing everybody every, you know, a year with that greatness. Yeah, man. So, so I I know next the next project, you got to go back on that road since you done got a taste of that tour life, man. Yo, man, the, the road, man, the road make you a whole different animal, man. You gotta, like, niggas say they ready for this shit, man. You gotta really make up in your mind. You ready for this shit. Ain't no more going to sleep when you want to, getting up when you want to, man. When you when you dedicate your life to the music, you belong to the people. And you know what I'm saying? Going on that road like that, I really took a real understanding that you don't even belong to your motherfucking self no more. You understand that? Yeah. You can't tell them folk you ain't coming. You know what I'm saying? That shit a black bar your ass and never get to go yeah. nowhere. You understand? Know so they don't be calling. So get, be humble, man. Get your ass ready to get in gear, man. All that nigga think it's a lot of gas blowing, sir, drinking, and all that shit, man. You got to maintain on that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to be able to move on that shit. So if your nigga talking about he rapping and shit and he falling out in the boot, can't stay up, man, don't invest in that nigga, man. He ain't going to make it. Yeah, that win right, don't Hell yeah, boy. You got to have your win right. You never know when that shit might go down. You understand what I'm saying, man? You got to constantly be on alert. Cause you getting out here, man. You when you step out your van or when you step out that plane, man. You and your guy, the only thing y'all got. Yeah. You did what I'm saying against a city, nigga. This shit can go well, south. Yeah, hell yeah. 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 Anything happening, nigga. Ain't south. nothing but up. All right. So when you when you approached it, did you have? Cause we know you always been a big nigga. You always been able to move though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get you that you been able to move, but when you started this and seriously approaching the rapping, did you have to have a workout plan and dress it differently or was everything the same? Nah, man, I ain't really had to have no workout plan. It's just gonna take a toll on your body, man. If you're a big nigga, you gonna be a little nigga. If you're a little nigga, you might turn into a big nigga on that road. You understand? Cause you constantly eating fast food, man. Ain't no more home cooked meals and shit like that, though. You know what I'm saying? It's a sacrifice, but it's the payoff, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a payoff to this shit, man. A lot of late nights, a lot of early morning, man. Flight trying to get up out of there, get that bag, get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of moving and shaking, my nigga. A lot of plays in other states. You know what I'm saying? When you when you fucking around with the number one group in the nation, bro, you gotta understand you moving three, four, five nights out of the week, man, and and the club become your workplace. That ain't nowhere to hang and party. At. You did what I'm saying? You get a whole new perspective for the club and what's going on in the club. So if a nigga see bands in the club, man, and he looking a certain type of way, man, just know I'm in work mode. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what work mode is, but I'm working. You feel me? <laughs> They got them road, but I know that shit here, though. You gotta be here, nigga. You gotta hit us with your favorite place. Here tonight. You know what? Then I'm asking around, losing shit, state to state, nigga, forget shit. Leaving shit in hotel rooms and shit, shit, man. Come on, man. You buying buying draw socks and shit every day, nigga. Yeah, man. You're working, nigga. (laughs) Your ass working, nigga. You ain't seen no boo, so you gotta keep your vibe strong on that whole time you on the road, man. You ain't seen no boo for real. You touching down city to city, you ain't seen no boo. So you gotta keep your whole vibe and your Swag and your flame and keep yourself together out there. And that shit kind of hard, bro. You got them go play to play. See how nigga rocking different shit. Old time nigga that you right. forget what's going on in your spot and your spot jumping harder than this shit. <laughs> you gotta call home. You know what I'm saying? That one thing I always did, man. You know what I'm saying? I always call home. You know what I'm saying? I always came through, show love to the home when I could. Oh, that, oh, that's, that's true. true. That's true. We gotta respect that. We gotta respect that. I mean, you got to tell love, man. What's your. I guess you give up the one anyone that you can share one of your your favorite stories from on the road, bro. Everybody at me did, man. Yeah, man. So I'm just gonna get I'm gonna give you something. That I know a lot of folks probably ain't did, man. You know what I'm saying? I almost got ate up by two cheetah one night trying to find somewhere to sleep in a mansion. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's just shit. one of them. That's just one of them. Oh, bro. Nah, 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 I got you. Shout out to Uncle Molly Mile, man. Shout out to Uncle Molly Mile, man. Have to expound, man. 
two standing in Vegas at Molly oh, Mall's, man, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They in the back recording and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just posted, chilling, smoking good reefer and shit. By the time me lay it down, drinking good. So the whole the whole match an hour we do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We sleep where you wanna sleep. So I go try to find me a room, you know what I'm saying, get on my phone, see what I can get going or whatever. Man, I fall off in the room, nigga. Someone in the bed growling at a nigga. I'm all the way in the room. I look I'm like, what the fuck? So I hit the light on my phone, shining on the bed. You don't see nothing but, but four cat eyes. Oh, yeah. oh Nigga shit, having little man. cheetahs in the house, man. Dead ass, man. You look around. I would have got down. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the fuck out of there, man. man. Get the fuck out of there. Didn't nobody know what's going on. I go wake Koyo, bro. Some motherfucking cheetahs in here. He said, stop lying. Man, come look. Nigga, get up and look. Two cheetahs in there, bitch. You dig what I'm saying? Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake so up the next morning. Why the fuck you tell me you have got them cheetahs in your mouth? Bro, we had, and, and, and you should have known there's going to be some shit that. like that, man. We smoking weed with a motherfucking monkey all night long. Wait, wait, what the what fuck? Wait a second. Where y'all live? Las Vegas. Monkey smoke weed in Las Vegas, huh? To a lot of legendary places here and there, but hey, you know what I'm saying? That life, I'm blessed to do that, man. I know it ain't nothing I did, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, if it was right. up to the shit I did, boy, hell, you feel me? It'd be worse than this. Blessing. Yeah. You did. Speak on, um, I know it's a lot of people you ran into, a lot of famous people, even though you get now, you're gonna, you gonna be all the way down the man, you know how that girl gonna speak. But oh, yeah. As far as the people that you met, as an influencer or just people you never thought you may speak on that or maybe a great person you met a nigga that you met you just like damn man I get to meet him alright man positive nigga the aspect of that I don't met nigga like Louis Farrakhan you know what I'm saying really sat down and had a conversation with that man that shit was crazy now I never thought I'd do no shit like that or the, the meet mine with somebody like that or whatever you know what I'm saying that was a real powerful experience then goddamn, I don't met nigga I don't met Everybody in the Met, you know, from Jay Z to to goddamn Met Keith Sweat. I mean, it's just anybody, nigga. You just name nigga you growing up with. Man, anybody. Let me see more influential nigga that, that I don't okay, met, though. I don't met some niggas like from some guy that was overseas that they were just rich on oil and shit like that. On some on whole nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, I, like my Dubai nigga, my nigga Z in Dubai, yeah, yeah, man, he just having it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever money, way he want to do it. I, I was looking at shit on YouTube, cool, he having pulling it. up. The whole club parking lot number. Yeah, Dubai yeah, really like that. Yeah, man, the really like that. Yeah, yeah, man, the police <laughs> really riding foreign cars. There's some schools over there, but the school gonna be the top of the line school. Like it's gonna be a SS Chevelle, yeah. seven to one. They gonna Four be a Camaro, school. something like that. They got the schools over there, man. But everything over there going real fast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard that. Hey, number money. It's amazing. Place it's amazing, hey, man. Money man, money man, money man went to the middle of nowhere and built some shit, man. Now nah, you know you really can make something out of nothing. You did, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to look at it from that aspect, too, man. Them folks in the middle of the desert, man. They brought everything they ever wanted to the middle of the motherfucking desert. And making it twerk, making you want to come to the desert now. Money. So don't, oh, never man, think you, don't never think your ass got to go somewhere <laughs> to pipe something up. You know what I'm saying? If Dubai got niggas want to come to the desert like that, so when you land and when you fly, man, dirt, dirt. Dig it the dirt. 
Diamond Land in, in Dubai. He lying in, land in Dubai, man. That bitch lit up, man. So it ain't just like to see how it go, how it got on the movies and shit like that, man. I know y'all had to see that shit, but everybody done seen Dubai on the TV screen, my nigga. That's that why I done seen that. I'd be like, well, I got to go there, my nigga. Shit, it was the devil. The fucking form. But shit, it's that the shit is turning. It, I'm talking about all these big ass architectural buildings. Like it doesn't have that. Where is that at? I mean, all that shit is just from the, from edge to edge. So when you touch down, you can see shit. It ain't just straight desert. Man, it's desert like this mic sitting in the middle of this motherfucking table, man. And the red shit desert. That Dubai. <laughs> Say no more. Okay. That shit packed. You know what I'm saying? Then what's prime me at? It be all type of holes in Dubai, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Right, yeah, I know that all kind of was on point, man. <laughs> My partner had went and they came out with a big ass goddamn leaf. They be smoking out of the tab tab piece. Man, they got some shit over there, man. Money. You get caught some weed, bro. Your ass will never leave Dubai, man. Yeah, I heard that. You'll be more than five. Bro, you ain't got no bag, bro. You'll be more than 50 sitting like crazy, bro, for real, bro. Shit. Yeah, that you can call any of that shit a bill over there, man. Outside on the street, yeah, ain't going too crazy. So that's the one thing about traveling international. You gotta know how to move, man. Everybody ain't ain't just goddamn respecting what, how you move in America. Yeah, so I'm right. saying it's freedom. Nah, no. Nah. Until you until you touch, you can be all over Europe, man. Until you touch down in London, you ain't gonna feel at home. But as soon as you get to somewhere like London, it's like New York City. That shit yeah, crazy. I heard that shit. Like what the fuck? Wherever you went and had the best weed, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Man. Has it been in the States? Has it been out of States? L.A. Right, <laughs> that's man, it. Los Angeles and Atlanta, man, got the best marijuana in the world, man. In the world. In the world. I said on the, in the world. Have the you best had the marijuana. Earl C's green? Yes, man. I don't smoke the Elsa down several times. You can go watch a nigga on Noise and smoking a big boat powder. You ain't even do that in, in, in L.A. with the gang. Yeah, my, my boy, he was on Noah. He was on Noah a couple of times, ain't he, bro? A couple of times, you man. You know what I'm saying? I see like, all that shit. I see how yeah. he did the boat and shit. Yeah, man. Big boat paddle, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. All right, man. Before we get into further, though, we got to go ahead. We got to have me go ban this, man. What's up? Man, this is what we do, bro. Everybody that come here, every guest that we have, bro, we got to ask them their top five, man. We're going to hit you with your top five. I'm going to ask you first again, and then we all go down the line. Top five? Yeah, your top five. So I'm just hit it easy, bro. Like, give me your top five greatest rappers of all time, bro. God damn, all, yeah. all time, bro. Number one, man, gotta be Lil Willie from Far Report. Okay. <laughs> Let go. Okay. Number yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Let go. Number one from all time, man. Number two, man, I, who I was heavily influenced by, man, I gotta say, shit, damn, bro, I listen to so much different music, bro, I really can't just narrow it down to like a top five, like in in that I don't ever heard spit that shit. Yeah, yeah that shit be hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let me yeah. see. I probably say, Pastor Detroit back in the day, cause when, how he came on, yeah, okay. and how he was just spitting that shit. Classic for the South. Yeah, classic for the South, man. He heavily influenced my style. Um, me and Goo Walk. Yeah. Let me see. He don't, I don't heard him put it all type of different way and different activity. Let me see who else I couldn't get enough of. Then you got the great, like, Pimp C. What we at? Four. Yeah, four. I'm old. Shit. Like a walk. Hey, okay. hey, turn up, turn up, turn up. Yeah, there you go. Say no more. Who's in there? 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 Top. Job, best flows. Best flows that you not heard. Don't have to be the best music, just the flows that you not heard of. Like what you mean? Flows. You know, niggas got their different flows. Niggas, flows be, they deliver different. That'll be like rappers. That'll be like, I think that'll go along with my top five rappers. That's why I like them. You know what I'm it's saying? It's on a straight flow base. It's on, it be like on a flow, flow base, like how they putting that shit together. I don't really listen to the word. It's just like, can I follow what you're saying? Can you lose me and then I catch it later? You know what I'm saying? Right, what I'm saying? right. 
so when it come down to the floor, I be feeling like them the nigga that got it, but on their own different way. Like when I said Pastor Troy, I was like on the story telling to, you know what I'm saying? When I said Lil Willie, like when it came down to somebody being. Let me say that would it change if I was to say lyrical, or would it still be the same? The lyrical. most lyrical rapper, man. Top five lyrical. Top five lyrical rapper. Would it change or would it still be the same? I don't know. I just rapper with rapper, man. Okay, get what? That's what I'm going to bump. That's what I'm going to bump, man. I can't even swap sw- sw- when they even come to lyrical. Okay, get what? Well, you know okay, like, like recently, like, I can say, like, nigga, like, handling being and now, like, two chain real lyrical. I think he, he real nasty on the mic. Lil Wayne. Uh. Two Chain, Lil Wayne, 3000, Lil Wayne, 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 Lil
You know what I'm saying? So it comes to a point where this, this shit you going to boo, you just really having a conversation with your fan base. You know what I'm saying? That's how you start to get the vibe, and it, it, it tend to become hard oh, sometimes because you run out of shit to talk about, my nigga. You had to go find you something else to talk about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or, or everybody ain't known that vibe, but sometimes you might get on another type of vibe. You got to go on and put that out there just for folk that feel like that all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it become a challenge sometimes. Sometimes it's easy. You know what I'm saying? We might have been partying all week, so we finna go to the booth and party. We might have had a fucked up week. Now we in the booth. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta See, go that's how I go with building that fan base, though, because you know what your fan base mm-hmm. want. You know what I'm saying? You know how to please your fan base. Is that you can get in that bit and just goddamn go in. Is it goddamn you, you make that shit for your fans or is it shit shit? You just make how you feel. You give it to them how it happens. Or did it change up in one way and that's another? Man, I learned that if I, if I can make that shit and make the couple folks around me, because the nigga around me real, they going to tell me hard or not. I can tell you about just playing it and they reaction if it's a good song whether they tell me it's good or not right. but when I drop this shit around these guys I know these people so good that I'm gonna know if I got some good music or not right. so they're who I'm, I'm and they end up that they in the street they know the street they know what's going on and they're who I'm reaching out to if they feel it I know the rest of everybody else gonna feel it cause all street niggas the same you know what I'm saying we all one type of nigga You know what I'm saying If you decide to live That type of life So if I can play this For these niggas And these niggas Gonna go crazy Like ooh that's it That's the one But I'm gonna go with that I'm gonna go with they vibe You know what I'm saying If not I just make a thousand songs Fill up a thousand takes Until somebody Feel this shit You know that, you know that. See what I'm saying Alright right. We got cousin with him now We gotta Speak on Yeah wow We gotta speak on Speak on Speak on him, man. I know you you pushing him now, man. I wanna I wanna hear I heard you, man. I, I know he's spitting there. Come on, man. Get on the mic. Yeah, let me introduce him. Man. 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 Big Wapo, young Wapo, man, the done, man. You know what I'm saying? Four row ambassador. The hottest thing in the street right now. Mm-hmm. Hottest okay. thing that hit the road since the Piggly Wiggly stole. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we're rocking with guy, this guy since day one, man. Ups and downs, left and right in my little hand, man, man. And we're going to rock out like that, man. Like like Gucci and, and motherfucking Jew, man. And he ain't Gucci and I ain't Jew. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know what's going on. It yeah. might be anybody. Mm-hmm. So let's let, let do it, man. Right. Right. He music going to speak for itself. Yeah, I'm on now. Let's get it in the Social media so and shit, Find us on the iTunes first, then look for it here. Well, hey, the iTunes man, man. check it. Mm-hmm. Walk, man, that homie is on iTunes right now. Get it right now. We got a uh, NWA, you feel me? On the right now, get it. You feel me? Crazy shit. Yeah, time is gonna be crazy, man. You feel me? Street legend, so still, you know. Oh, yeah. Let, let, let get on it now, guy. I know, I know if they listen, they already heard about you. If they know you, I, if they ain't, y'all need to go check out just what he said. That homies, that NWA, they've been going crazy, first of all. Yeah. Y'all gonna go to homies about a million times, I guarantee it. But, oh, just you in rapping, man, and how you approach it. Because your lyrics, and you had them, them hard hitting punches, but then it's from the hood, but then you, when you see your appearance, you hitting them with the swag and the soft, so, nigga, how you coming at them, man? Speak up. Man, really, man. Shit, man, it's just me every day, you feel me? Do, do what I've been already, for self boy, you know what I'm saying? I really got on the microphone, and got shit about it, for real, you feel me? I know I've been in that booth a couple times, with bang, I used to Pray, man, like, God, damn, I don't know how the hell that nigga do this shit, you feel me? I feel, I can rap a little bit, you know what I mean? But yeah. I feel like, shit, I can rap a little bit, but damn. How the fuck this man go in there booth and he do this shit like that, like that right now? Boom, but he just tell me, like, shit, bro, you got them crazy, man. You just go in there, I don't matter what you say, bro, this. Keep going, though. I just want you going go in there, cause I know you probably did. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there and feel yourself. Oh, I'm like, man, thank you, all right. Yeah, I'm going up. You know what? You know what? I'm going up. Just drop this shit. Boom. Way back. You feel me? He's still remember this shit to this day. You got this shit way back, man. Real in the house, man. Looking at all of us. Looking at each other. Just like we looking at each other. Just like, that we dropping this shit. You feel me? One nigga standing up, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Josh and Morphle and Fuck They House Up on Farisha <laughs> Street, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to them guys, man. Real cool guy. Yeah, man. We ain't gonna drop that shit right there, man. I told you, I told you you gonna do this shit. 
been a judge, I've been everybody I already know. I've been in the street, I've been in the church, you feel me? So I'm in the street, so when they see me, they be like, well, hey, I heard this shit, you feel me? What you crazy? You man, you kill me. I be like, yo, this shit, you catch me all the surprise, you feel me? Well, I'm taking my, my little one out one day, you feel me? Yeah. Cause he done been good and shit. I took him out, you feel me? Somebody ran up on me, like, hey, boy. You look chill like you rock with, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, oh, I don't really think with what you talking about, though. Like, what, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you done pulled it up. You know what I'm saying? He like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. He's like, oh, boy, you got them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, that shit don't blow my mind. You know what I mean? I ain't even know what I'm saying. That motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you, when you dropped the homies, man, how did you drop it? When you when you when you dropped it, you know we're gonna make the city go crazy. You know we're gonna hit like it. Yeah, I dropped them all for the man. That's how I dropped them all. I went out. You know what I said? I was the top. Yeah, the game dropped them all for the boy. I was top. So my goddamn my engineer, he like, what? You feel me? That what you going with? I'm like, shit, man. We just roll the tape. We gonna get done. If it is what it is, what it is, I don't know, bro. I, don't, I ain't in it. Yeah. I'm just been kids on it. Just, you know, we roll that motherfucker. We got to come up out the booth, you feel me? He play that bitch. I'm like, oh, yo. Then him, you know, you feel me? As soon as I did that, go out do I called the goddamn cameraman up. Right hey, then, yo. you feel me? Yo, I shoot right the now. We get the cameraman. We get the cameraman there like the nerd. Like, they was going to get with him. I dropped that motherfucker, I said, he didn't like shit, bro, you gonna get, first when I dropped, I ain't have a one verse on What the link is, bro, I'm finna go live. You feel me, I had one verse on the phone, I was like, he didn't like shit, bro, he gonna drop it with one verse, you feel me, I was like, shit. Yeah, I began with those, you feel me, I won. I won't really think about that, I'm just thinking, I just killed this shit, they didn't want to get him with no, I didn't get him with no, when we finna shoot. So I said, this is the same day, he died with me, so I said, go stand, I'm like, man, come on, let's go, I dropped no money. Same day you was here. I went right in there, man. Boom, came to him. Boom, right there. Second verse. Let's do it. Came up by and said, you ready? Come on, let's shoot in here. Hurry up, go. Do that, boom. My brother, meet that shit. We had to do on the right end. But we went straight to the scene. Then, then, shout out to all the girls, man. All my niggas came out that day. Give us this whole shit, gang. Yeah, all, everybody came out. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciate that shit. Niggas really love me out this week. I'm not doing anybody else, you know what I mean? So what you working on now? You got a, you got a whole project you got for the drop for? Yeah, that? man, I got that on. Um, I got the tape coming, man. Talking and cursing. Everybody, everybody waiting on it, man. Man, we need to drop bro. They waiting on it. Everybody waiting, waiting, waiting on it, man. Everybody waiting on it. We're going to drop a double D with a free bat wood. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, the whole street. Everybody waiting on it. Yeah. You tell us the bat wood in the CD. You need it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make it real good for the street. You got to know. Give them an exclusive right now, man. Tell them a date they can be waiting for. They don't got to be specific. Just tell them when it might come to the spot. Man, yeah, I can't get it with me, man. You gotta, man. You gotta give us something hot. I want him to tell him right now. I want him to drop the exclusive when they can be waiting on him. You don't gotta give us a day. Just give us a round of time. It can be a season for all I give a damn. Give us some song. Let him know. Do it, man. I'm just gonna say shit. Shit, man. Revelation, tell them for You know what's coming, man. Just be ready. Hey, the man. Okay. Just know what's coming. You're driving the hey, revelation. Go ahead, give them your social media, man. Let the people know where they can follow you. Man. Oh, man. FMG Walk, man. Everything. Once you ground, snout. Uh, when they snout, they walk. FMG, you did, man. FMG. Walk over everyone. You did. You know what I'm saying? Tune Walk, man, on the Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, everybody just look me up. Ain't hard to find. That's what's up, man. I'm in the street, nigga. So if you want to pull up on me, you can pull up too. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I ain't, no, I ain't, I ain't bad now. I ain't, I ain't got no, I ain't too caught the glow yet. <laughs> you feel me? But I know it coming soon, you feel me? Yeah. I'm waiting on it. You rain, I'm looking at it rain now. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly. they rain down, so shit. I'm just waiting on it. I was just finna ask, so you been soaking up the game. Yeah, it's 
Oh yeah, man, big homie been 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 putting on thin shit. You know what I'm saying? I put doing on thin shit. You put, you know what I'm saying? That's how we that how we work. You feel yeah. feel like yeah. you know we get your information out. Like you get two batteries in the pack going in your remote control. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? One of them ain't gonna really work right when you got the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you yeah. pull them bitches out, swap them out. Yeah. Man. You might swap them out. It still might not work. Always oh, might work for a little second, but shit, yeah, they don't go like we want that gauge to you that came together. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, me and that nigga been working for a long, long time. Been a whole bunch of up, whole bunch of down and shit. The nigga stay prayed up and go through it, man. Shit like rain, man. Nigga, it's the sun at the end. Either way, you know what I'm saying? Got shit going on through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Keep your hands together, man. Work to get it to him every time. Get it to him every time. He ain't gonna never leave. Oh, that, bro. That's, that's big, though. Amigo Bear, that's, that's big for you to come back to the city like that. You know what I mean? Showing love like that, man. You got for with your that's, homies, man. You got for with your people. Got to, but it's big. I like to see that. You know what I'm saying? This shit easy, man. This nigga I don't fuck with, man. They make it hard. They get in the way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I fuck with this guy from way, way, way. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to these new nigga, man, them the one that hard to fuck with. Them the one you got to watch. I know how this nigga be. I know what he about. You know what I'm right. saying? I don't seen him. You feel me? So it wasn't even no question of that. You know what I'm saying? That was easy. It's like when you met me in the store, bro, I might have seen a little standoffy, but once you let me know what's going on, man, we gonna oh, yeah. work something out. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that, man. But that's what I'm saying, man. You done been around the world, bro. I know it's crazy. You don't need to run up on you in the store or anything like that, though, You know what I'm saying? Man, if I don't know what you know, the homie, man. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I know, I know nigga might see that nigga bad and be like, boy, this a big ass intimidating nigga. But when I say you, bro, a good ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, keep you laughing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you can enjoy yourself with it. it ain't all that. But if you get to that, it'll get there quick. You know what I'm saying? And then them good niggas you got to be with, my nigga. That's how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. You know, we all intertwined in that damn liquor, bro. We going to see each other. Shout out to Lux. Shout out to the liquor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit twisted though. You be good or bad at the lick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Don't let none of this shit fool you. Mm-hmm. I give all this shit up today for me and my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That one thing that real, you know what I'm saying? So we ain't getting there, we ain't taking that frame. Stay, stay in your lane, stay out our motherfucking way. You're going to get what you get, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's going to be. Yeah. Everybody came with this drop. Knowledge and everything on y'all right now, man. Amigo bands in the building. In the yeah, building. Man. And my boy got down, hey man, I done been, I tell you something, man, I done rolling on my boy, got the old black Jesus, man, got down, <laughs> hey man, we got little dirt, man, we don't even dirt. got down, dirt, dirt, what's that, now, we ain't even got down, I said, nah, yeah, yeah, we ain't got down, but, man, a lot of niggas don't know what's going on, yeah, nigga, man, yeah, nigga, black youngster, yeah, that what's going on, <laughs> black youngster, man, uh, that's one thing I can say, man, when family come, I let y'all know, these two niggas, man, they family, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, right. Yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. say me and D, young nigga right here, me and Walk. I'm talking about, bro, y'all don't understand, nigga. I'm talking about the shit. Man, bro. say the east side, man. Go on, yeah. say it, man. Yeah. We had to save it. We had to save it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With your boots yeah. on. With your yeah. boots on, man. Look, yeah. Yeah, shout out to the east side, too, yeah. man. They, made, way, they made us, bro, what we are to this day, man. No yeah. matter what we had, bro. I'm going to love the east, man. Love the east. I mean, no way, no way else don't feel comfortable, bro. I tell you, shit all the time, cause you know what I'm saying. You know, shout out to my city, but see, I don't feel comfortable on the south. You know, I don't feel comfortable here. You know, you know, I ain't gonna flip, cause you know I'm your nigga that don't went through it. I don't believe they had to stay everywhere in this city and everywhere that made me feel at home. So shout to everybody, but the east always been the base. You know what I'm saying? The way you kick shit with your nigga, you know how to get it. So, but shout out to every other side. Got fuck with y'all, but then y'all yeah. love that dude. Shout out to my city. I know I love my city, bro. Man. I love my city. But, uh, man, damn, bro, like, kind of just got lost, man. Man, we can do this shit all night, you man. You know what I'm talking about, man? man. What, 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 what's the name? We ain't gonna pull out these niggas, because I know the city already know you. Yeah. Oh, man, no, I'm glad you had me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Put that shit up. Nigga, yeah, man. Band coming through, man. You know what I'm saying? Son of one Chevelle, same color, the Digiscale, man. Get yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah, out yeah, the road, yeah, man. Yeah, Been doing this shit since a little old bitty boy, man. Pull up on big ass motherfucking wheel, man. Pull out with your hoe, man. Real fast. Ah. Skirt, skirt, man. <laughs> Definition of this shit. Real shit. Seven one Chevelle, man. Yeah, I'm talking about that's them goddamn hardest old, in the city, old, man. Hardest hard Chevelle in the city, man. Them they cut already out, man. Man, honey band coming, man. Fucked it up on the old school, man. Hey, man. Word on the street, man. Warren, the band fucked all the rap man up on the old school, man. Fucked out of the whole rap shit, man. Sold the chain, man. Old school, man. Oh, put that shit together, man. Yeah, yo. Hide your bitches when it come through, man. Make sure you do that. Nah, Get man, keep right. your hoe, man. She got to pay, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a feed of wink and meat. You know what I'm saying? I understand that, baby. Oh, bro. Because he was a feed of wink and meat, bro. Yeah, right. Y'all better have to pay attention, man. Hey, 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 and take that shit across the register, man. Don't you got to pay for that seed and then that sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you got to pay for that shit, man? Xanarans ain't free, man. You got to pay for that shit. That good old live. Mm-hmm. Man, man. So, I don't know. Y'all need yeah. crazy. Man, yeah. Dropping salt on caution, man. Either way, you know what I'm saying? Buy you some flavor or drop you some salt, man. Pick your shot. Alright, Migo, man, we still just gotta add one more time, man. Add me. You, you, what's up, man? You, you gotta give him a, you gonna give him a little range when you gonna, gonna bless him with that next, man. next project, man. Man, one more time, man. The blue honcho, man, coming to save the day, man. Okay. One more time, man. Let it get cold on, man. Let you get all in your truck real cozy, man. Give you something to bump while you grind that shit out, man. Then one, man. I'm gonna give y'all niggas something to bundle up to. Something to keep that fire to. Something to keep your mind on that summer too, man. And that's what the blue honcho gonna do, man. I'm the street. Lean the street all the way up. Blue team. No oh, way. And I, and I know, I, want to go, I think I might road. make this exclusive, and I don't even know, but I'm guessing that Talking to Curse will come in somewhere around January and Fourthish. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, talking to Curse. You know what I'm saying, man? man revelation, man. Uh, you know man. not when the Talking to Curse will come, man. It might be the night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I might, I might be that crazy man to stand on the corner with the guy that got it coming back soon. Man, that car, boy, get I'm you a sign that say Talking to Curse coming. The end is near. <laughs> For real, man, it's oh, over with, man. If you ain't got your rock career started, man, from the seat, man, you ain't popped out by the time that man dropped 10 more single, man. I ain't even gonna get 10 more single, I'm gonna get 10 more minutes. You ain't popped off in the next 10 minutes, man, it's over with for you, man. Okay. Just stop. You walk over, man. You behind, you late. Straight like that. Straight like that. If you ain't heard of me, you don't believe. Go listen, nigga. They there for you. Listen to me. Crazy, man. Hey, go ahead and tell them where they can go find your mixtape right now. Man, right now, man, on live mixtape. My mixtape going up right now. Solid Gold Kitchen, man. Get that shit. The live shit on them, man. Go on Snapchat right now. Follow me on the Snap, man. Snap me from the trap, man. That's the only thing I'm trying to see. You know what I'm saying? So so let's get it right now. Solid Gold Kitchen on iTunes, Google Play, all major media. To your outlets, go get that shit, man. Yeah, right yeah, now, man, let me see where you hard at, yeah. man. All the swiper download that shit 10,000 times, man. If you're heisting, man, get that bitch on your stolen, man. Get that bitch on your church, on your trout phone, man. Support this shit, man. We're going in. Hey, 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 Oh yeah, I know they here. Yeah, I know man. they got to be here. Like, man, I got on so much ice in that bitch, man. This shit so crazy, oh, man. It's so much ice going on that bitch. Marjula kicking, man, with the little bitty shirt on, man. Yeah. That band, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that motivation, though, bro. Man, this, that's that motivation. Yeah. This shit easy, man. I got this shit off of Far Road on Pinola Air on top of the hill. You know what I'm saying? Right around the street, Far Road Elementary School. I started from there, man. I took this shit global, man. Yeah. That's G, nigga. All the way around. Hey, you went global. Not a lot of people can say they done been international. A lot of people can't say they got fans. FMG, they going, man. man. The for global, man. That's Shout me, out to man. the neighborhood. You want five, five motherfuckers? Oh, yeah. I got, I got fans. I got overseas fans, man. Okay, oh, go ahead. Speak on it. 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 I got OC producer, you feel me? I got oh, they ain't even know the sauce. They ain't even know the sauce. Ain't even local. Come on, oh, man. come on, man. It ain't even local, man. Nigga, like, where you get them track from, man? You gotta go call the water, man. They send that shit from Africa. Personally, man. Whoa. 
That's exclusive right there, man. Y'all ain't, like, y'all ain't like handy. He get beats from Africa. He get stuff from Africa, man. Come on, man. He had, I, hey, he had to make sure he, like, he international, bro. So, hey, man, I, yeah, I did that, bro. Local, local local shit. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Beats from Africa. Hey. <laughs> she fucked me up. She's laughing because I almost was ate by two chips. It's fucked with money. Man, that don't, don't get no money, bro. That's no. That's no. Money. Money should cast this nigga for the most interesting man in the world. Man, you God. crazy, man. That hood store more interesting than that, man. <laughs> They go on in the street more interest in that. It's crazy. I'm gonna have anybody cheat on Courtney. I'm gonna have anybody cheat on Courtney, man. <laughs> 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 Shit, man. Shit, man. Before we get into fuck, man, shout out to all our listeners, man. Shout out to to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody. I know y'all like these boys that been hitting us over the head. Shout out Weekly, to the Bronx for just joining Yeah, man. shout out to the Bronx. Whoever you are. Brooklyn. Oh, we in Brooklyn? Brooklyn. We in Brooklyn? Yeah. We shout out. <laughs> Free the Smurda game, man. Free, Free Bobby Smurda, Smurda, man. That's some yeah. real shit, man. That's my uh, real homeboy, man. Them real crooks up there, man. Freedom oh, boy. Shout out, yeah. man. Freedom guy, man. Nice oh, yeah. caught a, they caught a little guy. They don't plead on them. They just made a real nigga, man. They went, they came together, they banged together, they went out together, man. Real crooks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So shout out to New York, man. We big in New York, man. Yeah, man. We got to shout out to Cali, Florida, Connecticut. We big in New York, man. Shout out to big in Connecticut, man. We big in the Grange. Alabama. We big in Alabama, Virginia, Virginia. Shout out to Virginia. Shout out to Virginia. Walt Hughes in Virginia. Oh, man. I don't know, but shout, shout out to everybody. Heard them, heard them big in Mississippi, man. Y'all didn't know. Yeah, Y'all nigga late. Yeah, see, man. So shout out to everybody, man. Shout out. That's all look. They've been, they been tuning in to episode 21. And once again, we still hit y'all over the head with a goddamn another one. You know what I'm saying? Episode 21. Yeah, 21, 21 another one. Episode 21, 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 another that's what I'm talking about, man. He definitely got to come back. When you drop, when both of y'all get these projects finished and ready to release, y'all got to come back on the show. Man, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, I got to come back then. But any Saturday, nigga, got that. Y'all know y'all pull up on the set, nigga. We need to yeah, yeah. hop on that real shit anytime, nigga. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like that. That but that's what still want that exclusive with these tracks, oh, yeah, bro. We want, we want exclusive. exclusive with the, the, the we album, bro. Exclusive, come man. on, now. We got to have exclusives, bro. Man. Because I know you got the street way. The street the way, man. Uh, what's up, man? And watch Matt One Radio. Yeah, man. We can speak on how Georgia got that ass, man. Well, come on, bro. We already talked about it, bro. We talked about it earlier. Oh, no. Nah, I don't fuck with the dead, cuz. <laughs> 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 oh, wait. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man, we gotta get into that, bro. Oh, yeah, man. I'm talking folk, man. Well, yeah, but I, I, I ain't gonna flip me, too, bro. I don't know my cook, man. Goddamn, you know. Shout out to, uh, Diddy. That goddamn Ciroc. bag. <laughs> Shout, Shout out to Ciroc. Ciroc. I ain't never met Diddy, y'all. Oh, yeah, you know this one person you never met, bro. I ain't no ran down on Diddy. I'm trying oh. to catch him. Diddy is You know Diddy, man. Tell him to get with me, man. Diddy! <laughs> fuck with Bam. What about Drake, cuz? You met Drake. I ain't caught Dre yet either, man. Oh, man. I, I fuck with Chris Brown. They're my personal partner, though, man. Chris Brown, oh, so Kieran, they're, so they're, they're, they're my person. I fuck with home right now. That's oh, what's up. See, you got to make connection with motherfuckers. Exactly. Exactly, bro. Oh, you got throw. Oh, yeah, he cool as fuck. How do you feel on that? On that, do you feel like it's man, just tell y'all throw that shit. They nigga be talking about. They gotta go. They gotta get one. How, how you feel about that? Yeah, man. And he like take that cool shit. And he take that shit personal. You know how right. everybody got the nigga in the hood. They do all kind of little yeah. stupid ass shit, man. And then take the shit personal, even though you think the shit stupid as fuck. That how he? Yeah, he that nigga. <laughs> you gotta let him stay in here like that. Man. He just do he just do that shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't get no type of I ain't that ain't even my place to speak on no shit like that for real, but I ain't never got no vibe like that from the man. Man one hundred. Man, one hundred. That, that man know how to make that chick. Nigga talk about nigga talk all about. Would you go out, would you put that dress on for that set? Oh, no. 
You put that dress on with that sack. You put that dress on. That was though. These niggas on Instagram putting on wigs and lipstick for for ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Even though that just ain't me, but I feel like whatever you're hustling that cool. But I said, um, I mean, I don't feel like I don't feel like the life shit. You want to say what? Could they check in front of? You know you would. Just the the rap the rap. For an M and one dollar bill, you'll put that check. You'll put that dress on. Why not? For an M and one, my nigga, whole room of money, you'll put that shit on. You had to come with an M and one for a nigga. I'm telling you. If I was already shit, you come with an M and honey. Uh, if I was, <laughs> if, 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 <laughs> if I was already getting to the money, I probably wouldn't. Now, if I wasn't, if I was just. Nigga, if I'm yeah, broke, nigga, well, yeah, hundred thousand, hundred dollar bill. But if you already got money, that's something you don't do for money. Now we know what niggas who don't got money. You gonna got money. them tear it off. Well, what that just said? What color that was? When you gonna pose up with a dress? You gonna have a photo shoot on with a dress for that nigga? Man, watch out, everybody man. know big team it over, so you know it ain't even going down like that. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? But did the question? That ain't nothing. What I said? <laughs> you go bands. That big team. For a million dollars. So if you see big team in the dress tomorrow, you gonna like, nah, man. That ain't. We ain't talking about big team. You know, man. You gonna have a photo shoot in that dress? That Queen Elizabeth dress with million dollars. You. One million dollars. Do you have a photo shoot in a dress? Would I have a photo shoot in a dress? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One million dollar cab money right now. Cab money for all yeah, hundreds. Yeah, I, I, everybody already know band. All hundreds. If, if we know band, but the world don't know band shit. You getting to know the world. They gonna show me the cab money. All I don't know money. what how for y'all. They got show me. They got show me the cab money in the dark alley. <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somewhere, they got so many that they gotta say the cab money behind Culver Park Gym, twelve thirty at night <laughs> by themselves. Not do it. So if you out there and you got one million dollar cash and you come by yourself to right. behind Culver Park Gym with nothing but the cab money, you got yourself a deal. Gonna raw shit out your dumb ass. <laughs> you can't you say that. You still ain't answer the question. Will you do it? Yes or no? Bro, listen, man. If you got a million dollar cash, how many times I gotta say that? Meet me behind the car. No, we ain't talking pull about nobody. Me. You I, ain't, I ain't doing no if, will, for all that shit, bro. Just pull up with a million cash. You wanna see bands on the drip? Pull up with a million cash. Okay. I don't know what the fuck y'all do. Pull up with the money. Pull up with the money, man. <laughs> By yourself. <laughs> By yourself. Y'all beating the question. I need to hear yeah. Question beat, man. So nigga pull up with a million cash. Man, throw know that just got down persona yeah. though, man. That man yeah, getting yeah, that man getting the shit. That man man. Y'all say you say yeah. y'all saying a meal. You it's really don't care. know how much he really yeah. got yeah. off, bro. You a little nigga. You put you putting that dress on for a million, taking a photo shoot on it. Yeah, all my niggas. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's your album cover. But y'all said right, like, a, we don't know a, how much your thug It's a got character no Cause it's for publicity bro It's a yeah, character man That man name ain't young thug I don't give a fuck about that shit And plus I ain't even gotta see your dumb man Talking about that list of a man I ain't even gotta see you my nigga And then when I see you And you talking about bro You gay get what I'm doing I'm like, flex Go get, go shoot that nigga Right man Get that nigga out of here Go shoot that nigga. So we got padded. Hey, little nobody from nowhere that just like band music. He go, he go fifty thousand, bro. I don't like that guy. Come on, you know what I'm saying? You got a need. It's over. There. So bring the money by yourself. <laughs> me <and> can. <laughs> me can. Why would y'all let any type of gayness come to your? Oh, bro, I don't even look, talk about this. Let's go to the next question. That's what you gotta get into, cause that's basically what it is. He, it's a look. He work around that. I don't want to goddamn even Ooh, discuss that. That's hey, that shit. goddamn young thug shit, bro. That that ain't cool. I'm, finna, I'm finna walk out the interview, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just get that ain't cool. Yeah, that ain't cool. That ain't cool, man. That ain't cool. That that What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how we got into that hole. Oh my that goodness. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 y'all know shit, how that shit go, bro. That shit just got way gone. Man, say that shit to him. Don't <laughs> say I ain't never know. Who y'all fucking with in the industry, man? Who y'all fucking with? Oh, man, what y'all listening to? Man, I'm listening to that um shit. Man, am I listening to anything from Bible Womack to goddamn right Old now? School. I like that young nigga home. Um, 
ball. You know, he fast. I heard him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Me, them niggas fast. That's it. No free conditioning, man. Yeah, yeah, I bought me. I bought me so I can get better for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up, man? What about all types of shit right now? What are you doing? They've been fucking with it. They know around this time when them shit started kicking in. All that shit been kicking in. Finally started to get slurred. That's how it is, though, man. That's what I Yeah. Man, that's why podcast, man. Make sure y'all follow us on Twitter. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Subscribe. Uh, iTunes, hey. um, SoundCloud, hey. Spreaker, hey. everything else. Hey. Shit, you can't do that. Just Google us. Match One Podcast. Match One. The yeah, podcast. Match One Podcast. Match One Podcast. Did we match one with y'all, man? Y'all got to put that out there, man. Yo, Yo wake up, bro. Match One. Did you what now? Yeah, yeah, it's on, a man. podcast. Ain't no camera and letting them folk know. <laughs> you know what? What's so crazy? We match One. It's crazy that we got Nigo bands in the building right now. Cause last goddamn man, last interview we had a big topic on backwoods and rolling them and everything like that. And I know you love them backwoods, but yeah, man, superb. I am sponsored by backwoods, man. <laughs> so listen, man. I, I brought the backwood to Far Road. I'm the backwood pioneer. If you're rolling up a backwood, it got rolled on Burnside fur. You know that. They so, need the Columbia Historic Society need to come out. Put it. <laughs> <laughs> with a black eye down. By the vert. Bar side. But look, bro, does it have to be peeled or can you really just bust them down? You have to peel it, bro, or you a dumbass. You, it takes so long, though, bro. It takes so long. Hey, what, though? I watch the nigga blood run them off of his eye. Look, now, nigga, tell me he can roll shit. Hold on. I know this. And then went through hell, man. Bust right through. I just watch the nigga kill himself. Hey, man. Switch on a cigarillo, you are not smoking no weed. You need to goddamn up your dosage. That number one. And then get what? Nigga be complaining about putting all that weed in the backwood. That is gonna really step your hustle up, my nigga. Step out here and try to smoke backwoods every day and live like that, my nigga. You gonna grind your ass out of smoking them bitch, baby. Yeah, yeah, your ass gonna be that. broke. Like your ass gonna be broke. I don't even got a problem with nigga to smoke backwood. It's the it's the, the time to take the pill. But I done bust backwoods down straight down the middle and roll the bitch just perfect. I can roll a backwood up faster than you can roll the switch to No, what I'm telling you is I can bust a backwood down the middle and not impill it and roll it up faster than you do on the pillow. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't have bet that on the podcast. <laughs> but I'm telling you, or you going to lose. Well, Don't bet that. Yeah. You know, you my boy. But I'm telling you because... Y'all take two. I'm going to work doing all that and mummifying the bitch, bro. And I just... Psh. What they got to do with enjoying... Yo, 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 drug, the chewing. See, that whole thing. <laughs> Crackhead don't smoke crack out of Coke can for a reason. You see what I'm saying? When I see you like, <laughs> you go get them a stem and a brilla, man, and enjoy that smoke. You hear what I'm saying? What I'm telling you, if you had the time to do all that, that's cool. So back when should be special occasions, but just being maybe in a club or something like that, you just trying to smoke. I ain't trying to roll, roll that bitch and then do all that. I just want to bust it down, roll it up and got there. You feel me? Look how creative I'm looking to your bitch in the club. I look creative, <laughs> arts and crafts and everything. You know? <laughs> I just rolled up a little sheet. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Is that how creative? She's staring. I'm, I'm looking creative to your hoes. You know what I'm saying? She's staring. She don't know she how asked, to take it. She asked you, where he rolling? Where, where he rolling? He, he from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> he from Jamaica. Oh, he was, he said, I don't know what that. Girl, it was a nigga rolling up a, 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 a brown paper bag in the middle. He rolling up some paper in the big girl. You let me hit it. That's good. You know what I mean? All that. Yeah. That's what it do for you, my nigga. Step up your quality of life. 
Look, you heard it first. Backwoods step up the quality of life. Yeah, man. Even <laughs> even when you after them backwoods in the store, man, I be even look at you like you a champion, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga look at you like yo. Put a little glow in his eye, man. Okay, okay. You spinning it? Oh shit. Like yo, you want the backwood? Yeah, he yeah. treats you with more respect and everything. He like, man. Oh, you one of them? The, the your cigar that you buy at the store, man. Determine what kind of respect you get for Habibi, awesome. man. I promise you. <laughs> okay. I promise you. They're gonna determine whether you can be seven cents out of one cent out of one day, if you show. Yeah, know you, that. You need to serious about it, bro. You need to not smoke your blink if you come with a cigarette or switch or anything like this. Better come Won't smoke your blank, man. You heard it here. Match one podcast, man. Match one, man. I'm looking at all y'all niggas' eyes like, God damn, y'all niggas enjoying y'all. Bruh, this shit been going on all day. You wop soft stuff in your feet. This nigga always look like a fucking bitch. But yeah, man, uh, like we said, man, it's episode 21. We hashtag it what again now? FMG. Okay. There you go. Migo Band, go ahead and give me your social media one more time. Man, man. Snapchat me, Migo underscore band, man. Hit me on the Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Migo Bands, hit me on the motherfucking Facebook, Willie Damn Band. I fuck around everywhere on the Twitter, Willie Six A N D Dollar. Sign and shit. On the YouTube search, Willie Band, Migo Bands, you're gonna get you some shit you can ride to, some jam to, you know what I'm saying? On my over live mid tape, my mid tape. And all that shit, man. Fuck with the kid. Fuck with you. Fuck with the squad. Wow. Go ahead and give me your social media one more time, my man. Hey, man. FMG Walk. Everybody. Get there. FMG Walk on Instagram. Walk FMG. On the Snapchat. On the Twitter, man. I had to jump out into it. Okay, guy. You know, police. Police. I had to fire back up off of him. You know, on that shit a little 12 You gotta watch what you do on all that. Yeah, go find me I'm in the YouTube, man. Walk. Tune, walk. You know what I'm saying? FOG, I walk all that. Find me homie. You know what I'm saying? FOG, you know what I'm saying? NWA, look all that up, man. Get it, man. I know you're gonna live. I'm telling you, Ann Street ain't gonna love it, man. Ain't about a percent gonna love it, you man, because it ain't gonna work your brain. Got to know that, man. Real talk. They call it talking in curse for no reason, you man. I really did got the lingo, man. Keep the street down here, same street. For real, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm doing it for. You did, man. I'm trying to, I'm, 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 I'm street saving, you did. Hey, what's up, man? For the campaign. Alright, alright. So, shit, y'all yeah, know, know, man. Y'all know, before we get up out here, me go back. You got to go ahead and, and just give the, give the people some motivation. Give them something, to, give them something, man. You got to leave them with something. See, I'm going to leave you with this, man. Get your ass up and go get that shit. You know what I'm saying? You stay on your ass, you know, you know what I'm saying? You come in like that, you gonna go out like that. And be a man first, nigga. Fuck this shit, nigga. Get some, take some, man. Make some, man. It bad, nigga. Fuck that shit. Go for that sack. Go for that bag, man. You see that bag, man? And that bag, call your name. Get that motherfucker. Cause get away. It was done for you for a reason, my nigga. This bag, solid gold kitchen. Skirt. Hey, that was up, that was up. She did. What you got to say? Shit, man. I'm drunk as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you go this whole episode. You ain't got to say fuck nobody. You good this episode? I mean, shit. Oh, you already said fuck the police. Yeah, yeah, fuck the police. Yeah, fuck yeah, the police. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police. He said fuck the police. That's so about we, it. We, we, we'll live with that. All right. Black Jesus, anything? Black Jesus. Shit, I may not come with your call. I'll be there right on time. Fuck this boy. Man, I got a request, man. I got, I got to hear Black Jesus drop me some balls before I get out of the podcast. Yeah. I got to put Black Jesus on the spot. Yeah, he live on the spot. Listen, listen. You know what I'm saying? Good lyrical. You feel me? You better lyrical. Because they got to hit it. Man, it's a nigga. They got to hit it. Hey. Make it elevate. 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 Make so, you know what I'm saying? Now who y'all need to worry about? Shit. We gonna be in the AC3. Y'all check them out there too, man. Stay like that, y'all. Make sure we gonna be in AC3. AC3. 
A C three. A three C. A three C. October eight. Yeah, October eight. Right. If you nine. any artist y'all want to link up with us while we up there, man. Hey, you better link up with us because we telling y'all people hit us ASAP and it's going like ASAP. Yeah, man. A three C, man. They find me and get WAP on the set, man. I know it's a lot of pricing. <laughs> Find me to get WAP at A three C man. Y'all hear me back? Get with me, folks. Yeah, hey, so if you want to, if you want to get link with us, y'all hit T Diddy up at Beat Cut D W I C on Twitter. Yeah. And he not giving out the secrets no more. So she, you know how that is. So but and then too, this sell me for a WAP verse, man. Okay, hey, you going up? Hey, you going, going up? up. You better yeah, get it now. Get, get it now. Sell me for a WAP verse. <laughs> get it now. Drop, nigga, boy. You, yeah, you, talking to five hundred million Alpha deal. <laughs> A3C? No, we ain't even at the A3C. We at the check. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Run it off. You know what I'm saying? So, we up there. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Then we... Tune in, man. We will be there. Yeah, we tune in. We gonna be there also, baby. But y'all tune in that week, man. Y'all, we don't know the guess. You know what I'm saying? But we can't tell y'all anyway. So, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter if we do know. TD ain't gonna tell us. Okay? He know how he is, man. But, uh... That's it, man. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, follow, share, do all that good stuff, man. See y'all next week. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Come again. 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 I just ran up with your whole bum. I stole a nigga bass. Whole bum. I take that stick and hit a home run. You can't slide on home plate. Ain't nothing but dirty blue uniform. In the trenches where I stay. We crazy. Nigga trying to steal something. I'ma catch him in the catch. Dirty face, man. Dirty glove. Bitch, I dig. Trenches, cleats of bitches, not no sketches. I just dropped the ball, I got them extras, not no arrows. It's on my new arrow, bitch, I'm 60, not no mirror. I'm ballin' like in Griffin, bitch, but I'm not from Seattle. I went from swingin' sticks and shit to swingin' pound of mouth. When I was young, conduct no piss, so I start duckin' crap. Everything to plug through, I hit that bitch to now. When you running base, you can run that check or time. I am not an actor or an athlete. Come and play for me. Every uniform come with well a skate. Ken Griffin Jr. Ken Griffin. I be making plays.
Uh, my rig ain't been ridiculous, my jello from Italy. Got my mind filled with Benjamin's, I switched up the limit. My rig ain't been ridiculous, my jello from Italy. Got my mind filled with Benjamin's, I switched up the limit. I keep my people closer, gives a fuck by the enemy. My mama told me, power up and wait, no power up. This is an on the grind. This is an exclusive. Turn it up. Wow. My rig ain't been ridiculous, my jello from Italy. I keep my people closer, gives a fuck by the enemy. My mama enemy. told me power up, and boy, you know that my enemy. Oh, oh, I would jump a pot of sorry, yeah, at the door with the semi. They were calling me your guy, but I felt like your semi. I ain't never rode a trolley, but I dunked in the bench. Got for wildin' on the island, dropping boot in the rim. My shooter dying to catch a body, I just bought him a rim. Silver line around his body as he float across the river. I keep an eye on what you know about Professor Clunk with the Kim. Little homie pull up your kid and need a rock out of the clunk, you in a man of on your mercury. I flat the forges on Bill. Counter, 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 counter. I'm talking more counter than school. I'm smoking the mover. I'm feeling like future, but I made it fast for blue. Triangle and diamond, they come from the mute. The streets with the teacher and walk for the two. Zeus. It's your boy Black Jesus And I'm T. Diddy Take that Welcome to the Match One Podcast An up and coming podcast with all your hot topics Whether it's the sports, music, fashion, or news And interviews from artists and business owners So follow us on all of your major podcast platforms iTunes, SoundCloud, iHeart, and YouTube Follow us on Twitter at the Match One Podcast yeah. and, and remember, this the barbershop talk For niggas that don't go to the barbershop Cause we got locks